Yeah, well, there's a... Hello, everyone, and welcome to Come Town. Welcome, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. <sighs> My penis is uh, very funny. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah. Okay. L- look who decided to join us. Yeah. Oh, very funny. Very funny penis. <laughs> oh, oh, everybody have a... I have a funny penis. Uh, oh, everybody <laughs> love very funny Adam penis. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, you man. see, when I bring out my penis, everybody mm, has. His penis is so funny to me. <laughs> uh, you want to you want you want to stop taking notes? Yeah, he's his shit's gonna be fucked up. It's not gonna be right. The volume's all fucked up. <laughs> he's doing everything wrong. What are you doing? You writing in your diary, dude? Well, what time were we supposed to meet oh, there, damn. Adam? Yeah, oh, we're live. the show starts at three. You know that. <laughs> it's been. No, you haven't. <laughs> no, it's been two minutes at most. I mean, I I saw I saw you join it at a little bit but at two fifty nine. Oh, so you let me wait? Yeah, because we had to go. Saying. We had to go. You watched man. me. We wait. had to get shit going. I had to post the link. Start. I had to start. I had to do. We the... had to do that guy. He yeah. was like, I have a funny penis. Oh, my penis is so very funny. Very funny penis. <laughs> I missed that. You don't know about him, and you're not going to learn. You're not going to learn. Yep. Fun. See, what, what what are you working on right now, dude? What meme? Yeah. What joke, what meme? internet joke from 2014 are you doing now? <laughs> is it exhibit? Yeah. Nothing. I like, I, I heard you like painting, dog, so I put a painting yeah. in your painting. And it's exhibit holding a painting of Ben Affleck. Yeah, at the beach. Is that the one you're? You know on? what? You know what? I'm an artist now, and I demand respect. Mm-hmm. Respect these nuts. You know, be that? really funny, dude. You should paint uh, Jeffrey Epstein <laughs> or Harvey Weinstein. Are you starting this way right now? <laughs> this is. A, I gotta be honest. This is a pretty good, fun way to start. It is. <laughs> Yeah, fun for you. Yeah, I wasn't the one that started this, by the way. Stav started making fun of your paintings. I was always... But... Okay, yes, that's right, Nick. No, You're not the source. I'm not. There was blood in the water. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. There you was, just hopped there on. There was blood in the water, and I couldn't help myself. What have you been doing? Why'd you turn your shirt inside out right before we started? What does it say? <laughs> I didn't turn my shirt inside out. It would be out. awesome yeah. if your shirt said, I'm gay. Yeah, I know I'm, it doesn't, yeah, but yeah, how I know. awesome right. would it be? Are we back to this We can right see now? your tag, dude. dude. We know you, you're you like, oh, fuck, I'm going to be on camera. I don't have time. And so you flipped your shirt inside out. Yeah, I didn't have time in hair and makeup this morning. We were wearing a Ben Affleck shirt. <laughs> He's wearing a, a lit epic Ben Affleck. <laughs> Come on, man. Everyone, Come on, dude. A couple of fun. We're having some fun. Yeah, you can no, talk about my trash. I don't appreciate it. You can talk about my trash bag. You can say, why? What do you I'm got there? I'm getting fatter. Yeah, what are you doing? Fat. fat and not taking pills? Great. Right. Okay. <laughs> yes. Great. Mm-hmm. Fucking fat and okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that's the beautiful. That's the beautiful yin and yang. We're all, okay, def- cool. you know, yeah. we're all doing something bad. Everyone can see my nervous tick now of shoving my beard in my mouth too. That's me. That's, wow. me and dude, that's so embarrassing. Yeah. No, me and I mean, are destroying our mental and physical health. I hate this. I keep seeing and, myself and do you're it. Making gay painting. I keep seeing We're myself do it. Bad. And it's like, damn. I don't like this. I don't like this term because they're gonna all copy you. <laughs> yeah. You know this happens. Copy us. You know you feed into the into the. Ether, I like the your paintings, man. Yeah. It was a little rib, but you had to make it a whole big you're thing. Fucking all no, upset. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Nick. I didn't start. He's the source of all evil. I didn't start it. Fucking Stav made. Yes, you are. Stav pointed yes, out. Yes, you are. What everyone else is yes, thinking. Yes, you are. What, I'm a sensitive artist. Everybody's thinking. Okay? Everybody's thinking it. Stav said it, and that's it. everybody's thinking it. Shut the fuck e- up. The elephant in the room, Stavros. One second. Stav, you should start your own independent podcast called The Elephant in the Room. He's changing his shirt now. Whatever the shirt he had on, he's not changing. If he comes back and there's a day he's wearing a different shirt entirely. <laughs> what did that shirt say? Oh, oh my God. Man. It's getting burned right I now. I know. It's probably. No, it's all right. It's all right. Same, okay. Same shirt. <sighs> anyway. Yeah. You've made a lot of progress and I do like your paintings. Yeah. Your paintings. I don't need this. I don't need that either. I like them. <laughs> no. Yeah, here's the thing. I think on a, from a technical standpoint, they're very good and I like to see the progress. The subject matter, however, mm. extremely derivative. <laughs> derivative of what? Other pictures? Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, but it's it's very much like. Um, okay, go do your fucking orc art and art. Thing. Fantasy art, I will. In okay, fact, good. I will. In fact, I will. As I'm a matter of fact, thing. as a matter of fact, <laughs> I will. Okay, good, good. <laughs> If I'm speaking frankly, I will continue to do that. I'm going to do paintings now too, dude. Yeah. Fuck that. We should all do paintings. We should all do we paintings. Should. And there should all be a, a, a reflection of what's going on in our subconscious. Me, epic battles for justice mm-hmm. involving dragons and orcs and swords. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And men with uh, kind of body with types. With my, my, emulating your own. That life. I already have. Just strong. Because I, okay. because I have to, yeah. I had that to, you covet. Strong, we, let's muscular, just say you covet yeah. one way or another. Man, that's kind of maybe. I pose homosexuality. I pose okay. nude for yeah. myself. Fine, I don't care. That's the kind of homosexuality I can get on board with. Jack guys <laughs> killing dragons and having gay sex with each other afterwards. Who cares? It's cool. That's the pinnacle. It's, no, I'm glad for you. I'm glad that you're exploring your subconscious. In your art. Incredibly vapid jokes from three years ago. Mine would be I me mean, if I'm being honest. You're calling me gay. That's that's <laughs> homophobic. <laughs> I'm not calling you gay. I'm, I'm saying you're exploring I am. your For the record, I am. For the record, I am. Yeah, he is. We got to go gallery you. mode, Nick. He's, oh, right. Sorry. Gallery I would put mode. that for the record. Mm-hmm. I think you're you're gay, and also you're gay in a different way, Adam. Yeah. Thank you, Stavros. Very diplomatic once again. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. I've been. I've really been Switzerland on this call. Doctor. Doctor Stavros said it again. You're Boutros. Boutros Gali, dude. You're... <laughs> Look at this. I got some color in my face from just being out working on the car yesterday. It was the first nice day nice. of the year. That's nice. Yeah. You, you put a fuck. You put a knot. You put a Hemi in there, dude. Mm-hmm. I put a Hemi in there. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. Be it got a Hemi. And it would be that thing got a hammy. It would be cool to drop something cool in there, but a, a lot of people do that. A lot of people like do swaps on two forties and make them faster. Why not? You should fucking do it. I want to get Who something cares? really gay and then do a swap in something like a Miata. No, people Is do that. that. Miata is a, a it's pe- a well worn. People love Miatas. They do. Yeah, yeah. I just After watched Corky MacGruber. Romano. Yeah. Yeah, there was one in MacGruber, MacGruber too. and Corky, Corky Romano. Romano. Yeah. No, what if I got I like, love, dude, Corky Romano? That movie good. is what so. What if I made like a <laughs> yeah. like a sleeper Daewoo? That would be cool. Yeah, yeah, that would be a Daewoo Lanos. Mm-hmm. That'd be tight. Remember the metros, the Geo metros? Yeah, remember them shits? Yeah, they tried to bring those back. I thought. Did they? Who? No, not the metro. I'm thinking of uh, the Dodge Neon. Oh, much different. Geo metro is some real fucking trash shit. The yeah. Dodge Neon was a piece of My shit. My stepsister too. had a metro. Hell yeah. yeah. There we go. Mm-hmm. Now we're talking. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Now she has uh, an Aveo that my dad has to borrow. What's an Aveo? It's like the new version. That sounds like a hot little Filipino boy. It's like Chevy's car if they're like, should you not be buying a car right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's you- like a smaller Malibu. Right. Should you just give up and take the bus? <laughs> mm-hmm. Dude, I they're trying to give away cars right now, I heard. Where? No interest forever. Wait, at the mall? Dude, I was at the yes. mall and they're just giving away <laughs> cars in the middle of the mall. You just put your name in and they'll give it to you. <laughs> That's what I heard. A guy who doesn't understand a raffle. Yeah. Dude, they, they will give this car away. Mm-hmm. You just have to pay the taxes. Damn. It's um, nice. Should we buy what cars? type of what um, type of government agency is overseeing like fake raffles? Mm. Like how do you get caught if you you make a bunch mm. of people buy raffle mm. tickets you never the, get the car? The away. FTC. It's the FTC. It's the FTC, yeah. Uh-huh. The future okay. titty committee. The future titty committee. <laughs> uh, ma'am, uh, your son's going to be fat. And... <laughs> you keep feeding him those little Auntie Anne's pretzel bites. I'll let, let me tell you, uh, you got a fucking titties in your future. Damn, I want that so bad. I posted, somebody bought a shirt. I saw that. Somebody bought a shirt and they posted pictures of themselves in front of Fuddruckers. And I, I saw that. I was fucking jealous. And now I'm, I'm having the same conversation with like nine different people that are like, man, Fuddruckers. They... <laughs> How, what kind of days I'd have at Fud Rockers? <laughs> <laughs> I've had the same experience. I mean, I, I said it before, but honestly, just fucking divo- recently divorced dad. Yes, he, sir. We've got nowhere to go. Mm-hmm. Might as well spend four hours at Fud Rockers. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get on the Fud Rockers Wi Fi. Just sitting there talking about The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah! Damn, I miss her. I miss her French fries. Those big wedge French fries. 
I'm they not a wedge good. guy. I got to be honest. This is you know this is where we where we differ. You're a shoestring man. I, I wouldn't say shoestring, but I kind of you know I, I like a shoestring because you could take a whole handful. I, too oily. I appreciate. I appreciate all the different kinds of French fries. The the wedges are good if they're seasoned right, and that's what makes a wedge good. Yeah, but see, I'm just getting too much raw potato sometimes, man. Yeah, but that's why it's got to be seasoned right. Fud Rockers, they nailed it. Red Robin, same thing. I like a wedge as long as it's not the fat fucking Western fry type of situation. Yeah. If it's a smaller wedge, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm in there. The for most sure. bullshit one is like that crosshatch shit. What is that called? Waffle waffle fries? Waffle fries. Yeah. That's retarded. No, those are good. Uh, I Chick-fil-A? wouldn't say it's the worst one. I would say shoestring is the worst. Waffle fries and mid tier fry. Yeah. Honestly, I would equate it to a wedge. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm sorry to do this. One of the before. top, one of the top French fries. Well, no, there's no way you can't dip them. You gotta... Yes, you can. If anything, they have pockets for a sauce. You what? Yeah, you, ac- you, actually, so, well, you uh, yeah. If you if, if you were in my arena right if now, you have... Sav, Sav and I one time had a 10 a.m. just absolute trying to destroy ourselves at Chick Fil A. It was pretty good. That is the thing. People in do New Jersey it, when people want dipping, to destroy themselves. Dipping with one of those fucking Chick Fil A waffle fries into that cup. You're losing a bunch of that fucking shit on the bottom unless you fold the shit up and turn it into a regular handful of French fries. So it's like I don't. If you, no, that's not. It true. is true. It's lattice. You fucking asshole. If you don't, if you <laughs> no, have to modify, true, if you have to modify, the, the sauce gets in po- the pot. It does not. Unless, yes, what, it are does. You pouring it the does. sauce the so- under because the of the viscosity thing? of the sauce. It gets in the pockets. You're you're trying to assemble it like a waffle. Like with syrup. No, sir. That's not how you eat French fries. Listen, if it's too big, sure, yes. But very rarely do you have the whole pristine cross-cut waffle fry. Usually it's like half. So, okay, you're talking about something that isn't the way it was intended to be. If something is accidentally correct, that doesn't make it correct. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. There is no, there is no what is. There's only, there is no what could be. There's, there's only in, what is. There's intention. Very philosophical. Okay. <laughs> well, I said waffle fries, and you said no, they're good. And explaining how they're good, you choose, you choose to describe. No, something. you said that they don't hold as much sauce, and that's not true. I said you can't they, dip them, you fucking asshole. I did you not can. say that Chick-fil-A they. Has you has wide can. dip. As a wide dip radius it doesn't. for that reason. I, and, the, and the technology behind no. their sauce you, containers Here's what you can phenomenal. do. You can wipe them, which is disgusting. <laughs> you can't dip them. You definitely can dip. First of all, there's nothing wrong with a wipe. That's I disgusting. That's prejudice on your no, part. No, it's disgusting. You can get a nice fat stack of sauce no. on the fucking, on, a, on, on your tray. No. And you can give it a fucking... No, wiping is... First of all, when you go to a fancy restaurant, it's it's they, when they it's, do a little schmear on the fucking de- on the fucking plate. Degeneracy is what it is. That's then then I guess five star mm. diners are degenerates. Five guess, five, yeah. star, five star What's diners. A five star diners. People <laughs> <laughs> diners yeah. at a five star. Oh, diners. Oh, I thought you meant like I thought you meant like a fancy no, diner. I'm talking about your James Beard Award winners. Go to a fucking take. Mm-hmm. Go to a fucking real restaurant. You're getting shit that's been wiped on that fucking plate, bro. Big time. They love, fancy motherfuckers love wiping sauces. I miss And because me, the common man, wants to do it at fucking Chick-fil-A, I'm a fucking asshole? Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, he's you're, doing, no, a, he's what you're doing, doing exotic this plane. Is a classic, he's having fun. He's this is a classic doing exotic white plane. trash bullshit. They'll get no. like fucking That's... like vinyl marble walls in their house and be like, because we live in a mansion. It's that. So, that is that is you wiping Chick-fil-A waffle fries, which should not no, be. And pretending that you're at fucking you, that you're that you're at a James Beard restaurant <laughs> is the exact same thing as putting a so bo- is the, putting so a body your kit mind, on your fucking Dodge Neon. Yeah, well, there's a difference. I don't say they deserve you, it, but you, no, you have it. White. You creating a facsimile luxury experience as some like class aspirational piece of shit is degeneracy. I think you're reading into it a little bit too much. I think it's about having fun. Man. No, it's about dipping fries. And not and wipe, was, not was, wiping your food. I, I disagree. Being, I think fun is a big part of having fries. It's not That's fun. True. It's it's one of the funnest. It's not it's there fun. Is. No, because you're 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 at the core of the thing. You're still trying to be Mr. James Beard no. five star diner. And what if I was? <laughs> what if what? It's campy. Almost. And maybe one day you and will I'm be a good time. But right now you're not, not really James Beard. I'm fucking pretending the way you would wear a wig to pretend you're Jared George Washington. But you're not wearing a wig to pretend you're George Washington. You're wearing a wig sure. to pretend oh. you're a guy that has hair and the ability to grow his own. 
So, and that's okay. the fundamental difference. Wait, so you're saying that they're like the class differences I, are are so rigid that that someone that isn't at an, a fancy restaurant can't pretend they're at they a fancy can, restaurant. They can, but they, it, they don't have they haven't bought the right to no, do that. No, it just reeks of desperation. When there's an what within, do you mean desperation? there's you an authentic fun. there's an authentic <laughs> option there's an authentic option available to them. <laughs> Nick hates fun via bro. the di- no. I love fun. That's why I love going to Fuddruckers and I'm, dipping my I'm fries. Rich. Oh, look at me! I'm, I'm, rich. Rich. I'm wiping. <laughs> if, oh, if I anything, haven't. I have. It's a it's a radical act of class warfare by mocking yes. them, turning them into a caricature. I don't need. Oh, your, I don't need to spend eighty dollars to wipe food. I'm doing it, and I'm calling you gay. While the I'm doing fries it. You're not are doing marvelous. That. You're thumbing marvelous. your nose at other people in the same room as you, who are working in the same factory, <laughs> dipping their French fries like working men. You think you're better than that? You're not <laughs> pretending. I, it, it, I'm having. Yeah, look fun. at you. Look at I'm these. Look at these dogs judgment. dipping their French fries, and that's why it's a problem. I don't think I'm better than. Them. I think I'm more carefree and whimsical, though. Yeah, I am. And you know what? Maybe they see that they little get a little glimmer in their eye, and they're like, "Maybe better things are possible," because that fat fucker is w- w- wiping his fucking Chick Fil A sauce onto his waffle fries, and he's happy. He's living his truth. I ended up finding <laughs> my old iPhone six, and I don't know what to do with it. Okay, j- jack off with it, bro. Wrong answer. You, Next, no, you start <laughs> selling <laughs> selling drugs. Next one. <laughs> Here, listen. Hear me out. Hear me out. Take it off the internet and use it to not to jack off, but to use it for a sex tape thing. It's it's not connected to the internet, but you can you no one can hack it. But you take it, you keep it in airplane mode, and you record yourself getting sucked off. No, I'm thinking like maybe I can jailbreak it and do something fun with it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I would like to take videos of me getting top, but sometimes I worry what about my iCloud? If they can get the fappening, what if I get fappening? Yeah. And everyone sees my little fucking pork. Which I guess it wouldn't be a problem if it was on my terms, right? That's why I'm thinking about getting a uh, video camera that doesn't connect to the I internet. I don't know, man. I just had that debate that I didn't care about just because I miss Fuddruckers so damn much. And I just want French <laughs> I fries. I know. You're really <laughs> committing. But yeah, I, I would say I didn't care if I lost the debate that mo- that obviously too, man. The stakes were so low. I would I pretend mean. I didn't care. Also, if I got yeah, worked. Yeah. If I got worked. It was a two-on-one. <laughs> it wasn't necessarily fair. I'm always vindicated. <laughs> I think you yeah, like Bitcoin. Yeah, you have to, which I was right <laughs> like about. about your free crypto. <laughs> which I was right about. What are you talking about? You weren't right about. You lost. I lost money. Thousand no, dollars. I lost money day trading, which is completely different. Overall, my statements publicly about when to invest <laughs> were one hundred percent correct. All right, I'll take. Hey, you're gonna fucking look at the market where it was in December twenty eighteen. And then I stand by wiping fries. when you were in LA. I'm gonna take no. this W and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna cherish it. Mm-hmm. Wait, I, you know what I was thinking the other day? What did what did? Because now it's a visual show, so we can we could act out. Where did this it's, come from? It's really not though. What is this? It's really not a visual show, Adam. What most is this, people though? still listen to the podcast? Okay, but okay, I have a question. What what is what is this? Explain what, what you, you're doing, then, motherfucker. You clasp your hands and then you shake them on either side of your head to to, to symbolize victory. Victory. Right. So what 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 is that? Here, here. I don't fucking know. I don't what the know. fuck? Where did that come from? I don't know. Maybe save that one for the joke notebook and Okay. All right. <laughs> it wasn't I mean it was just I don't know. Maybe hey guys, no, that's good, Adam. Let's workshop jokes. I was thinking about this the other day. It wasn't a joke. I was yeah. just picking. Uh, you, <laughs> you don't see that very much anymore. Yeah. It's kind of a nerd I mean, move. Brunch. Nerds like to do that. There's brunch, but there's, they don't do that for, for dinner and lunch. There's no more. No, more. don't, don't. Okay. <laughs> what, what the hell is that? The, freak, the freaking heck is going on with that? Everyone knows what that is. <laughs> what's the yeah, deal what's, with her putting your hands behind your shoulders? Is it, is it that you're shaking your hand? Is that what it is? You're shaking your own no. hand? But what keep, is it? Keep trying it out. Though. Is it Roman? <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. All right. <laughs> Damn, it didn't come through, but I could hear it faintly, Nick. Here, let me let me let me dip these. Let me dip. Okay. Let me yeah. go on. Let me Everybody, bring hold on one second. Let me dip these down. Yeah. You know, what? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> Adam, talk now. What's the, what's the deal, what's the with, deal putting with putting the, your hands around? What is that? You shake your hands. What's the deal? What happened to it? People used to do it all the time. <laughs> oh, 
fuck, dude. <clears throat> when would they? Yeah. When would they do it? Can you cite examples of when they would do it? No, because you're gonna do something with the sound. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not going to ask any uh, questions of things I wonder about. That is so fucking, that is such good music. It's great. Oh, there it is, yeah. the guitar. It's, yeah. you know what, it, it's a, uh, I think they use it because it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It feels like we're back a little bit. <laughs> no, it doesn't. This sucks. <laughs> It doesn't doesn't suck. Suck. I'm having, I'm having, fun, I'm having fun, but I mean, it, yeah, it definitely perils in comparison. Having to sit and look at my computer. I don't like looking at myself. I don't mind. Oh, you don't, don't mind the computer, You don't like looking honestly. at yourself? No, I, it's, it's, I find it to be pretty distracting. Honestly, I'm just looking at myself this entire episode. Mm-hmm. We could, we could myself. all be off. We could not even look at each other, but I like looking at each other. Yeah, but then yeah. what if I'm doing something weird? Right. Then people would see it. It's very embarrassing. Damn. Yeah, I guess. I wonder if you can hide yourself on your own thing. You might be able to. Man, it's so... I, it would be nice if I could just see you guys. Well, I don't want to fuck with it because I'm worried that then it would just get pushed to the stream and then the stream would look fucked right, up. Right. Yeah, you yeah, probably can't, it. Nick. Leave it as it is. Because I guess the stream is seeing what you're seeing, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Am I still on your guys' thing? Yeah. Yes. Oh, Adam, you could go to hide self-view. This is cool. Go to hide self-view, Adam. Okay. Great. There you go. Let me know if I'm doing something weird, though. No, I won't. No, please do, because I don't want to... I won't. I'm a very vain man. I can't see myself, so I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. fuck you, Adam. Okay. (laughs) Don't say fuck you. Why? You're not in front of people. Sorry, this is like... um, Maybe in our own private life. It's like... uh, uh, In our own private bedroom that we share. You can say that. This is cool. So you guys can't see each other. I can see both of you. And you have to... I can't see myself. No, I see both of you guys. You just can't see... I see you too. I can't, I see, can't myself. see myself. Damn. So it's like um, real life. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Which this actually is, is better, I think. This is going to get the magic back. This is what we need. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. Who gives a fuck? We just have to fucking do the podcast. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It'll be. It'll get good when we stop. Work, when we free ourselves. I freed my mind already. My th- my third eye. Definitely. How? Um, <clears throat> uh, Ponda marijuana. Um, Are you getting high at home? He's been eating. Vegas. He's been eating cat. I've been, food. I've been trying to. It's not. It's scary. It's scary. He's now. been eating <laughs> uh, uh, wet cat food exclusively. You've been week. eating out of a bowl on the floor. Yeah, I know you asked me not to publicly announce that on the show that you've secretly developed a problem of eating wet cat food. Out of you a- know that I don't have cats, and that that's funny. You know, that you it got, makes it even weirder. I don't even like cats. That you got a dish that says "Daddy's little kitty," and you. <laughs> And you eat wet cat food off the floor. <laughs> you get excited when you hear the automatic can opener go off, right? And then, every, every at noon every day, yeah. And your poor your poor dad has to deal with watching you uh, eat your cat food out of. <laughs> <laughs> That's really weird, Adam. It's weird, and I don't mean to judge. It's it's frankly it's a bit weird, but it's a little odd. If doing, yeah, right? I don't understand why, but hey, I'm your friend and I support you. If you gotta, if you gotta have a little Adam, kitty, you know how you said to tell you if you're doing something where you look weird. Yeah. You're looking. What do really, I look like? You look you're like you, a woman. You're licking your chops in anticipation. I'm not licking my for, chops I know for that. your afternoon meal. I know what I'm doing. Kind of. <laughs> your, your mouth is getting really wet. Yeah. For some reason. Right. You're sticking your ass all the way up in the air and wiggling it around, waiting for. Waiting for your after- arching my back yeah, for your yeah, afternoon you afternoon kitty cat meal. You want to get rubbed, yeah. and have wet cat food, yeah. <laughs> Damn, I tried watching that, that Netflix show Hollywood. What's that? What is it? It's. I mean, I only watched the first episode, but Jesus, what a piece of shit! <laughs> it's like it's like I, I always. It was the first thing I opened. I because I don't want to watch anything. And I opened yeah. Netflix. Netflix is like, here, watch this. I was like, fine. This is the yeah. first thing there. And it's the 40s. And it's like supposed to be about Hollywood in the 40s, I guess. Is okay. it scripted or documentary? It's scripted. And uh, it's a, immediately kind of abrasive in this like, uh, hey, it's the, the 40s, uh, tomboy. How you doing? You know, right, like just, right, right. but like, 
there's, there's times when people are like too excited to be acting. Yeah, you for know sure. what I mean. I hate that, and it like fucking fucks up. Like the 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 most glaring example of that is probably the Ocean's Eleven movies. Mm. I think the especially I don't mind those, especially the sequels where they're like boys are all back together and we're making a movie. Like every scene is you're just watching these people make a movie. Right. I like that nothing goes wrong in those movies. And I feel like with like They're... period dramas, it's like particularly apparent, I guess. But... Yeah, because it's the theater kid and, and the actor jumps the fuck out. Yeah. When you're wearing a fucking stupid costume and you're talking stupid. Yeah. It's like you're in fucking high school all over again pretending not to be gay. Right. Exactly. Well, if it's bad, that happens. But it could be done well, obviously. Anyways. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so then the show, and then and then the show is apparently just gay sex. <laughs> There's not anything else that seems to happen. It's about this guy that wants to be an actor, and so he has to. He becomes a prostitute, and then he has to fuck an old lady, and then like, like his boss tries to make him fuck a gay guy, and he doesn't want to fuck the gay guy, so he goes and he finds a gay guy, and at gunpoint forces the other gay guy to fuck gay guys for him or whatever. And it's like that sounds pretty funny. But it's like, what does this have to do with the '40s? It's like this. Could, this could take place at a Home Depot now. It's like, it doesn't need to be Hollywood. It doesn't need to be. This is just an outlet for someone's like gay sex fantasies. 100%. Yeah. Is it just like LA Confidential it's also, show? No, there's no noir element. I mean, there's like fucking. Really? Yeah, there's no like mystery. It's like this fucking. I mean, maybe it develops. It's just gay sex. Maybe it develops. Wearing, wearing zoot suits. But the pilot's fucking. It's atrocious. I mean, it's like, yeah. it really is fucking bad. Was it recommended to you or something? No, no. You just open you, Netflix. Oh, it was it's just on Netflix. Yeah, it's, okay. It just came out. So it's like on their like recent show. It's there, also yeah. really funny to be like, you know what the world needs is a mo- is a show about Hollywood, the sexual violence that takes place in right. Hollywood against men. Against well, <laughs> it's not that that's like that's kind of like a woke take on it. Which, that's funny. Which, yeah. but it's like, would really, I mean, it's like normalizing that behavior, and it's done because it's like you know, like it's fun if you're gay. You know what I mean? Right. right. It's not like it's not like that shit stopped in Hollywood. I mean, right, like, right, you right. get the one guy like we'll fucking throw Weinstein or whoever at them, but it's like there's still going to be predatory pedophiles and whoever, you know. Yeah, David Geffen. Yeah, uh, uh, Brian Singer is going to continue doing what Brian Singer does. Yeah, and so this, he's still getting work. Singer gonna singer, baby. He was about to do Red Sonia, right? And they took him off it. Yeah, but yeah. The, the 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 your your point about like oh against men or whatever, the tone of it isn't like oh this is bad that this is happening. The thing is, if you if you it's if you made it about a woman, it would rightfully be viewed as disgusting and as exploitative and like like as apologia as it is. Right, right, right. And so it's like even it goes like against whatever woke point you want to make about like oh well I guess it's more important to talk about guys you know which is like you know I mean I'm, I'm, I, yeah no it's it so what you're saying is it makes it even less what what do you mean. Well, the the point you're making, right, is that, like... That it's funny that they would do a show about guys getting raped in Hollywood. Instead of women? Yeah, if you're going to do that show, yes. Why? Because it happens to women more. I guess, yeah, that's the point. that It runs counter to that point, because if you made that show with that tonality and about a woman being right, you're exploited saying in that even, way, it's even, there would be outrage. It's right, like right, right. the fact that they could just, like... Make it like a. But because funny. it's gay guys, it's like, Haha, isn't this funny? He's sucking cock. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That is be, funny. To be fair, as a sketch, very funny. Pointing a gun at a guy's head and making him suck dick for you, so you don't have to suck dick, is pretty funny. Yeah. Well, he doesn't do that. <laughs> he goes into a movie theater and finds a gay guy trying to solicit sex for money, and he then at gunpoint kidnaps him. <laughs> And then he's like, "You need to do gay sex for my boss, so I don't get fired because I'm only supposed. I only want to fuck women." <laughs> oh, that's very right, enterprising. Gun- the gunpoint is the only problem there. If he cuts him in on the racket, then it's like then you're almost like a subcontractor. Yeah, mm. that gay guy's a subcontractor. Yeah. How about Adam getting a construction job and he's like, "Yeah, I'm a subcontractor." <laughs> Yeah, I do. They're like, Adam, no, that doesn't mean you suck all yeah. the contractors' dick. I do drywall and bareback. <laughs> I'm a subcontractor. Where are all the Dom contractors? 
<clears throat> God damn boys. Yeah. Man. I can't wait till my hair grows longer, dude. Yeah. I mean by the time this ends I have no I've not paid attention at all. The only reason yeah, me neither. the only thing that has gotten me to even look at the news for a second is figuring out why there were jets like fighter jets flying over. Yeah, the what the blue fuck angels. Was that? It's fucking the blue angels. It's so dude, funny. That's dude. cool. I'm sad I missed Most, that. Most like a lot of people just don't want to pay attention to this fucking thing. Regardless. Yeah. Especially if you're like skeptical of any like the response or whatever it's like yeah you just got to just not pay attention to it because it's fucking right. off right and mm-hmm. so imagine you're me yeah <laughs> and you're right. already like i think this is fucking government overreach and it's like and then you go outside yeah. of your house and there's fucking f-14s flying overhead <laughs> and you're like why <laughs> why why this right and then luckily it was just uh it was just a fucking like horrifically tone deaf display <laughs> right a, a, no a, i think a, a fly over a fly out a flyover is always cool when no. trump flew air force one over daytona speedway that was the tightest thing he's done as president mm-hmm. okay that was cool i'll give him that he has a little panache but i'm saying right now who gives a fuck about the fucking bitch ass blue angels yeah. How expensive was it to even gas those fuckers up? Yeah. Probably cost a lot of money just to fly them. Yeah, and then think about what the jet fumes are doing to the climate. <sighs> mm. <laughs> but nature, nature has been returning, <laughs> dude. How about that? The fuck? Who gives a fuck about those bitch ass planes? Yeah, the planes suck too. It's like they're fucking. That wasn't. Were they doing loop de loops? Like that no, F fourteen was like so. what fucking cool like forty years ago when it came out or something. We've seen those Damn, jets. Is that old? I don't know. Yeah, they're old as shit. I don't know. Yeah, you're right. They are old. We've seen these jets. The plane technology has not changed like drastically in the last like forty or fifty years. Well, they keep putting like five bill, like bill, trillion dollars in, into like planes that just absolutely don't work. You think that's where the budget to get boy pussy is? No. That's how where they hide it. They got to bring back. First of all, the U.S. military should have the house with balloons from up. Check, and then for sure. we should use definitely. We should use um, a sense of we should prey on the international community sense of empathy to uh, wage warfare. That's mm-hmm. that's the new move is because no one's capable of genuine empathy anymore. Or, right. or genuine guilt. It doesn't exist. It's been Some people. eradicated. Like you. I would say you. <laughs> What's that? Uh, you and in, Cable. But the, uh, you know, it is. It's like sort of like a, a, an uh-huh. anachronistic emotion. Like when you read an antique novel and they talk about being gay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And they describe it separately from being happy. And you're like, I don't know what being gay means in that context anymore. Anyways, so... You, you mean actual being gay is in being happy, right? Or being homosexual? Like, oh, we were so gay the other day. I was so right. gay to see Mark for right, for tea. Right, 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 you're right. saying, wait, I I don't understand what you're saying. I know because you were interrupting. That gay is something different than happy. Yes. He, okay. He's saying empathy now is as outdated a word as gay. No, not the word. I guess it's just. Anyways, the point about the I'm trying to talk about that <laughs> up house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but okay, forget about it. It doesn't matter. No, I think you're going. saying we'll we we'll drop bombs on motherfuckers with a little cute old guy. No, you wouldn't. And no one's gonna. You no one's gonna snipe at him. Wouldn't drop. Who just lost his wife? You wouldn't drop bombs on. Him. You would just take all of their resources and say you needed to find your wife to, oh, to find out. Oh. Yeah, because they would be so sad about him losing. Do, 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 do. He would be so sad. That's what I'm saying. But do, 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 do. when the robots take over, they're not going to be these like overlords. They're just going to make like fucking pathetic robots that are like, "Can I have all the food?" I'm a- like cute. <laughs> I'm scared. And then people are like, "Oh, this poor robot." They're just going to make Wally, and everyone's going to give. All- they're going to make little BBA. Yeah, they're going to give all their money to fucking Wally or whatever R two D two. R two D two is very. That's cute. the real robot overlords. Mm, you know cute guys it's fucking c-3po being like i just want to get married to my boyfriend <laughs> people are like oh well we, i don't see why we shouldn't change the laws so that he does seem like a nice C-3PO guy is he helpful. he's always translating things you know yep there's yep, no way that he's got a degenerate mind that is just trying to corrupt our children of course <laughs> oh i see. 
<laughs> You're equating uh, making gay marriage legal to stealing somebody's natural resources. I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm comparing. I'm just saying that maybe we should think twice about letting C-3PO marry other robots. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Noted, my friend. <laughs> no. He should be. He should have his urges suppressed and do his mm-hmm. subroutines. And then get yep. married to a big fat bitch like Rosie from the Jetsons. <laughs> that would be a perfect couple, dude. Yeah. Just She's such a beard. Yeah. Yeah. Rosie's a total Just beard. Big, big. Oh, he never fucks me, yeah. Mr. Mrs. J. Yeah. It's Rosie's fine. like an old lesbo. Yeah. Well, I don't know if she's a lesbian. She's just no, like no. Rosie she's like Alice from. Yeah, uh, she loves what? she loves cock, but she's one of those women that has already resigned to the idea that she's going to be in a sexless marriage with a closeted gay man. Yeah, mm. per the original gender roles, which were correct, the mm-hmm. ones from the thirties. <laughs> those are number two. Yeah. <laughs> the way we had it structured back when everything worked, when you were forced <laughs> in the closet and fat women could get a husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, those were the good old Back days. Back when we had society yeah. figured out, you know? I mm-hmm. want to get my robo pussy worked out, Mrs. J. And what happened? Did we let all the gay guys fuck each other, and now all these fat right, women, the fat girls they want to be president. The poor fat girls. They want to be fucking president. <laughs> They're trying to be witch president. I'm trying to be <laughs> hocus, hocus potus over here. And it's like, <laughs> lady, yeah. bake a pie. And fucking masturbate right. to the, the idea of your neighbor while mm-hmm. fucking That's while right. Troy goes to work in the factory and does things in the utility closet with Michael. That's right. You know, <laughs> this is, we put had, all your frustrations into that pie. Get that good at baking. Yeah, we had society figured out. We had it right. Dude. We had we, everything was. You know how much better Paul Dean would be at, at fucking. Actually, does Paul Dean have a gay husband? Um, no, I think she's got. I mean, she's like a big Southern bitch. In a garden, that bitch probably has a, a gay husband. Yeah, Paula Dean. Uh, uh-huh. Paula, Paula Dean fucks. Yeah, Paula Dean You're definitely right. fucks. And but stuff. imagine how much better she would, how much butterier her shit would be if she didn't get. It's well, she it's already as good. Southern gay cop, dude. I would love. You know, I might have to just go down to the south after this ends, just to go to like, just get fat as shit <laughs> at diners. Yeah, dude. just go to diners and just just have all my mm-hmm. just be fed by a woman. Yes. If you're some that would be big, great. loud, fat, southern bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. And you want to, mm-hmm. and me and Stav can come down and be your dual husbands for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> just for a little while. The biscuits with every meal. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I need, I need that shit. Yeah. That would be awesome, dude. Yeah. Biscuits, Maybe that is. Biscuits and gravy is good. Southern wife. Biscuits and gravy is good like once a year. I'm not a biscuits and gravy guy. One, I'm a biscuits guy. Once a year, I could see it once a year. I'll I'll back you up on once a year because yeah. you're right. I never want it, but every time it's on the menu, part of me's like, uh, ah. try it out, dude. It seems like it should be a side, you know? Yeah, not like a main. Well, it's course. a combination of sides. It's everything. It's, it's too two rich. sides. Yeah, too wet for me. I love a biscuit on its own, of course. Come on. I love a damn biscuit. I went to a, uh, in every I went scenario. to a, a Cracker Barrel recently for the first time. Have you been? I've been to Cracker Barrel once with Bobby when we were driving through like Florida. I didn't know that. I went one time. They don't tell you. Yeah. Nobody told me that they have this like giant gift shop attached to Cracker Barrel. Yeah, they have like, like, like a the, general right, store. Right, like it's the fucking Air and Space Museum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, and it's not even like. Yeah themed shit it's like there was a talking parrot yeah right that's the one i was at it's like what the fuck does that have to do with cracker barrel yeah well, it's like uh, I, I went in utah once it's dumb shit that crackers think is cool mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot of it's for mayo barrels. they should call it mayo ass barrel yeah you, mayo barrel mm-hmm. you should do Absolutely. that you should do that as a painting as rachel dole is all saying mayo ass cracker <laughs> i don't want to that, that actually is good <laughs> That's a commentary on Cracker Barrel. Yeah. That is pretty funny. I it's wanna, the next I, step. I would love some. Fr- First of all, Adam, there's nothing wrong with an artist growing. Yeah. I'm just trying to, you know. You're doing great. You're doing all Thanks, right, man. Tom. Don't be so sensitive. Don't worry man. about the subject matter right now. You're working on the, no. the basics. Exactly. It's like you're going to college. That's, you, that's what I'm saying. You write a research paper. You're not fucking researching anything new. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You're learning how to research. Yeah. I'm you're not writing my own research. You're learning about I'm reading MLA. books. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. Thank you. Yeah. You're not well. You're now not, I feel better. Good. That's what we were saying the whole time. So you get your panties in and out over nothing because you haven't had your cat food. Don't yet. wait. You always have to bring. <laughs> you panties haven't had your in cat food. <laughs> <laughs> you know? We know it's. We know you're skipping your feeding to do the podcast. And we appreciate that. Yeah, I know. I'm a little cranky. Going in the but, other. You know. Going in the other room to cough up hairballs and turn your I eat cat food shirt inside out. <laughs> I know you're upset. No, <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not Radio, doing any your, advertising for any your, brands that don't. Your fancy it. feast shirt is is flipped inside out. <laughs> it's actually a funny story. The way Adam got into cat food is he bought fancy feast and he thought it was a cum. Yeah, and he was mad that it wasn't cum. He had a bow tie yes. on. He was like, "Oh, I thought it was just cum that you mm, eat with a bow tie." On. Excellent <laughs> theory, Mr. Stavros. <laughs> Seats. But then it turns out to be cat food, and it, he turns it, he liked it even more than cum. Who who would have mm-hmm. thought? That, that's true. And that's the way the cookie crumbled. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude! Yeah, I would love some fried okra, some fried catfish, a hush puppy. Hush puppy, fuck. We had that argument whether hush puppies were southern food or or seafood. We it's did southern have food. Yeah. Seafood to me. Southern. Southern. We don't have to re- re-litigate this. I forgot about that <laughs> argument. <laughs> Damn. We've had so many arguments. The battle of the minds on this podcast. This is really <laughs> just like a... This is like when uh, Norman Mailer and Gore Vidal duked it out on TV. Mm-hmm. Was that Norman Mailer? Was that somebody else? There was one with Norman Mailer and Gore Who Vidal. Who was the guy he that... Him, he, he called him a faggot or something. He called him a, a goddamn sissy and a... A queer... No, no, maybe it was uh, no, it was uh, it's the William, conservative. It's William F. Yeah, Buckley. William F. Buckley Buck- or whatever. Yeah, Bitch. yeah. I know more. See, dude. No, but there's there were ones with. Uh, See, Gorf I'm stupid Adal. and I know shit. And yeah. uh, and you. What's his name? Uh, Norman Duncan. Mailer yeah. shot his wife. Right. It also has cool. nothing to do with what we're talking about. This is a nice, I'm just like, saying it's a real in intellectual <laughs> stuff. Yeah, yeah oh, it's a real research. Uh, you don't uh, even know the information. Uh, just like uh, uh, no, uh, I didn't uh, get James it wrong. Baldwin. There are, there are, there are Did you know I know who James Baldwin is? Uh, uh, mm, uh, let's see here, Adam. You're holding a ball. Adam's <laughs> cool notes. <laughs> Let me just rifle through my Adam's cool guy notes here for a second. <laughs> I don't take the notes. I just a list it. of things uh, to mention so people know I know about yes, them. Yes, it says here that it's, uh, <laughs> uh, have you ever heard of uh, Truman uh, ca- Capote? Capote. 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 What's yeah. the deal with that? <laughs> Truman Capote. What is his? Was he, what is uh, it? Was he some sort of Dago? Is he Italian he or something? Wa- yeah, yeah, Capote. <laughs> I actually like that one. To be fair, that one is my favorite so far. It sounds mind. it sounds some some a guy, type of a guy some type tra- of Italian. Mm-hmm. A guy trying to, to like sound smart. And he, he he doesn't know Truman Capote's gay. Mm-hmm. He thinks he's Italian instead yeah. of gay. Mm. I think that's got legs. Should I rewatch Showgirls? I'm in a, I'm gonna yeah. I watched it like two weeks. Oh, ago. Oh, never mind. Actually, <laughs> you. Of course, I should not. <laughs> I've never seen. No, it. I should watch. I've it. jacked off to parts of it from the internet. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's. I think it's pretty. Fun. It's funny, dude. It's yeah. It's yeah. funny. Yeah. I'm in like a. It's uh, I'm in like a Verhoeven It's not. Mood. I, w- I, I It's very enjoyable. Did you see the fucking the Trump created that like medal or badge or whatever for like no. the citizens? It's no. like we all did our part. It's like some official like badge. We all get a badge. Yeah, I mean it's literally a participation. He's trophy. gonna win. It's like some fucking. He's gonna win. It's some fucking like starship troopers like good yeah, work yeah, citizen dude. fucking bullshit. <laughs> that's a that's another another Verhoeven yeah. movie. That's why well, That's a good. Yeah. Oh, is that Verhoeven? He did Showgirls. He did Showgirls and Starship, starship Troopers. troopers. Okay. Yeah, I might uh I might I might pick up that because I got to clean up. I've been like doing a lot of spring cleaning. I might swing the the couch around back into its original movie viewing position. Nothing wrong with that, especially right now. Yeah, and then <clears throat> do uh, do fucking Starship you Troopers. You get a little chair or something on the other side, and then you're really working. Yeah. You don't want to box it in. Yeah, it's, wanna... it's too boxed in. If I swing that couch around, you're, you're jammed in there. I might get rid of the beanbag and the coffee table. Beanbag's got to go and get a small chair, I would yeah, say. Yeah, the beanbag, beanbag goes to the trash. And the coffee, just the coffee table, head. too. I, what I want is just, I don't need a coffee table. 
You just have I agree with that. A fucking end table. I I agree. Coffee tables, I think sometimes. I are eat in the. Oh, the way, I eat where in do the, you eat your meals? In the kitchen, Japanese style. Just standing up. Just standing up. I eat it. Fuck. I put it on a plate oh, on the counter kitchen counter, style. and then I eat it right there at the counter. And then I and then I go. Hi, hoi unga. I guess it's. Oh, it's not stop! I have a. This is called kashi karuka, karuka riku, nikakura, karuka ikara karashu. Until you get tired. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like that they How don't talk in restaurants. What? About 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, after each meal. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what was the name of the restaurant? Uh, Kara 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 I mean, they're all every language is. <laughs> what crime? I've been doing. Use? I've been getting back into singing English songs in fake Chinese. Yeah. it's a lot of fun. What's just around that? Like what? Oh, seventy uh, Charlie Varick. You should you should watch Charlie Varick. You want to do yeah. some of it for us here on the show? No, I, I, I don't want to. Get... It's funny. You're at work right now. Yeah. You're a professional comedian. You get, do your job. Don't do this professional comedian thing to me right now. <laughs> Do your job. You're at work right now. Look at the face. Do your your fucking job, mate. (laughs) Pal? Yeah. Yeah, do your job, mate. We'll all do voices. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been doing um, Wake Wake Me Up uh, by, by, uh, what's it called? Go ahead. Go into it. Get into it. (laughs) Just do it, Adam. (laughs) Yeah, pretty offensive. I like that. Yeah, no, I think it's good. But I like to live in the on the edges, you know, edgy style, Mm -hmm. offensive, edging life. Edging. I I, I was thinking. I was thinking about a guy. I was just like, we can rebuild him. We can make him gayer. The sixty-nine million dollar man, or something like that. Mm. We can make him suck a man's penis. Yeah, mm. we have the technology. Mm. We can suck his penis. How about and just stuff like that? How about like a guy that are like, we can make him. We can make him do the Holocaust. <laughs> it's the six million Jews, man. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. okay, a different angle, but I like it. I a lot. like that you're admitting <laughs> that it was six million. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I've never, I've never wins. been. I'll take that. I've literally never been a like. Oh, it know, wasn't six million guy. I mean, it's like I've never understood why it matters. It's, I don't, it's, it's. I no, don't no, care. A, it is awesome. The guy's like, come on, it's three point eight. Yeah, <laughs> three point eight's huge. That's big numbers. Um, what uh, I I. I, the movies I've seen recently are the only, Jackie Brown, which absolutely rocked. The only but, reason to like get into, well, I don't know. It's like because are there? I guess there probably are people that are anti Semites that are pro Israel. Yeah, for sure. Which is such a weird position because it's they <laughs> because they want like an an ethno state here. Yeah. So they, no, it's because they want the Jews keeping. Well, there's part of them that's like that, but they also there's part of them. It's Christian people that want the Jews keeping it safe from the Muslims until Jesus comes back. Mm. But that's the evangelical perspective. Yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah. they're definitely anti semites that, that fuck with Israel. I tried watching some of that Waco show. Is it good? It seemed good, but it was too depressing. I had to turn it off. Mm. Dude, I'm telling you, Jack, gotta watch Jackie Brown again. I haven't, I haven't seen so Jackie good. Brown. Jackie Brown was a movie that... Because Tarantino, like... Tarantino did, like, the age I was when I was, like, a teenager when Kill Bill came out... There had been yeah. a period of absence of Tarantino for long enough that it, like, bridged the gap between childhood and, like, teenage kind of, like, awareness of the world. So when right. Kill Bill came out, it was, for me, it was, like, Tarantino was just a guy I kind of, like, knew about. Totally. Like, you know, yeah, me too. Same thing. You know, and um, and so I didn't see Kill Bill first. I saw Reservoir Dogs. It was the first movie I saw of his. And I hated it. Whoa, yeah, it's my really? least favorite. Yeah, I thought Reservoir Dogs was, like, terrible. And Interesting. I guess I saw it way after I was a fan. It was, like, of the la- last one I saw. Yeah. And and I thought it was pretty fucking good. And then everybody was talking about how great Kill Bill is. And then I saw Kill Bill and was, like, fine. Oh, no, it rocks. But I was already tainted by it because I had seen Reservoir Dogs. And then I saw Pulp Fiction, which was, like, good. But I was, like, 
I was like, Tarantino's just kind of like, you know, because a lot of it is like he's just obsessed with film. So everything, a lot of it is just referential. It's homage. It's all definitely. homage. So if you like, if you haven't watched fucking like every Japanese movie, you're not like, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I'm not going to, but as, no, it's as, also, a 14, that, as a 14 year old, I'm not sitting there and being like, oh, this is like Rashomon or whatever. No, you know, but like, I think, oh yeah, yeah. You mean, you mean for Pulp Fiction or whatever, but I think. For Kill Bill, what's good about it is because he's stealing everything, it's just good as fuck. I mean, that's what people say about Reservoir Dogs is that it's just – there is a movie that's almost 80% Reservoir Dogs. He just stole a movie, which is wild. But Jackie Brown – What movie is it? The I don't Killing? know. Like, Jackie, like, Brown, Jackie Brown I saw when I was like 17 or 18, and I was like, I love this movie. And Jack, so Jackie good. Brown was the one that like fucking completely changed my opinion. You know what it did for me? I saw it as an adolescent as well. The scene where what's her name, Bridget Fonda, is smoking a bong, wearing a bikini top. I always thought that was like the hottest thing. <laughs> like just a a shiksa with her titties out, smoking a shi- a blonde. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hitting mm-hmm. a bong. Nothing wrong with that. But I agree yeah. with you, Nick. It I, I th- so it's the last Tarantino. I've seen every other one, and. It's better. It's my favorite one. And it's also not, it doesn't feel like that traditional Tarantino, like, referential shit. It feels more like it's an homage to, to fucking, uh, the main character, which, you know, I can't believe I'm forgetting her fucking name. Jackie, uh, Jackie Brown. Not Jackie Pam Brown, Greer. the actress, Pam Greer. <laughs> but it doesn't feel like he stole a bunch of things and is referencing a bunch of things. It feels like he actually made a good ass not like super violent movie and I don't know I fucked with it it was fucking so good yeah and the guy the fucking old guy who wants Pam Greer's pussy so bad he rocks Max Cherry Max Cherry rocks that guy just died in the last year R.I.P. Very sad. he fucking ruled yeah I gotta see some other shit he was in but I yeah. love that song the Delphonic song yep didn't and Samuel I do L. Jackson, it, baby it's just nice to see Samuel L just get to fucking drop his nuts on the table and be the main guy. And De Niro... I like his look. De, De, I like his look. Yeah, oh, like yeah. His permed ponytail. Permed ponytail with the soul patch. That, yeah. It was like a rat tail soul patch. And so it's also sick. cool... It's also cool to watch De Niro just be a, like a character actor for a sec. Yeah, kind of a loser. Because... And, and it kind of fucks it up because you just assume it's like, oh, De Niro's cool, so... Yeah. He's going to be the main guy. It takes you a while to realize, oh, he's a fucking loser. Damn. Yeah. And it's kind of a fun reveal in the movie where it's like, oh, shit. Maybe I should get, not- once I get that couch swung around, we're doing Jackie Brown. Fuck yeah. Stop. Man. Once you once you finally get over your fear of the virus, you should come over. You should I'm, do movie I'm night. too scared. But I'll watch it again. Well, one day you won't be scared. That's true. And I can't wait to not be scared. You come over and do a little barbecue or something. I'll yes, probably dude. be. I can't. Wait. I'll probably be ten pounds by then. <laughs> yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're gonna keep getting smaller. I'm just gonna keep getting fatter. Yeah. That one week when we all cherish each other again after this is gonna be awesome. Before returning to exactly how it was before, right? Mm-hmm. That week is gonna be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> We're it's gonna, gonna be, be nice. <laughs> it's gonna be having fun. Well, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna live. Like, the, the, the quality of the show continues to deteriorate in quarantine, where it gets like really fucking bad. And then, like, quarantine ends, and we do the first one, we're all back together, and we're like, here it is, and it just sucks. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, We've changed. It's, fucking, it's just not. It changed It's us. like it wasn't quarantine. I can see that happening. It's just fucking, it sucked the life out of you, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, man. Who gives a fuck? Well, I guess what's next on the topic of discussion see- oh. is Babbage's. You know we sh- what's that? Huh? Go ahead. I was gonna say what's fucking hilarious. You see that guy, that guy who was a, a Biden delegate who said because because of the placement yeah. of the pussy. Well, I found no, out about yeah. that by from first thing this morning. It was, it was a black dude oh. too, right? Yeah, yeah, hold on. I was looking at it just. He was now. a state representative. He said, "Judging by the position of the female vagina, <laughs> hilarious phrasing." No, no, not, that's what. It will not be easy for anyone to just put their finger into the vagina unless there is some cooperation from the female herself. This is why I believe Tara Reid's allegation is false. <laughs> she is looking for attention. <laughs> My man was in the New Hampshire fucking house. Mm-hmm. I had a little, nice delegate. little argument yeah. about that this morning. That's great. Dick Comey. I had this thought about, what about uh, Willem Dafoe's middle name being uh, these <laughs> stop yelling? Willem 
Oh, yeah. I see. No, wait, hold on. Defoe? No, 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 no. I wrote right. it out earlier, and then I got it. Oh, Will. And w- yeah. Will. If his name was Will. No, no, no. no, no. It's sense. Willem, and the middle name is <laughs> Stop Yelling. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. And there's a comma at the end of his middle name. <laughs> yes, yeah. Or you can put anything you want in there, but that's the premise. Yeah. Is Will. Will uh, Willem guys. Will these. Will, Will these people, these gentlemen, whatever, Willem, whatever you're exacerbated about, and then the last name is Defa. You know. Oh, I see. So it's, yes, it's yes. Adding Defa. to the the <laughs> exasperation. <laughs> so you're like, will that <laughs> stop yelling, Defa? You know what I mean? See how Defa. it works? Yeah. Defa, yeah. It's a bit of a stretch. Defa. It's the, a little oh, bit of the a hard stretch. O at the end is definitely. But a it was literally my first thought upon waking this morning. That's beautiful. Man. Yeah. Also, too, my idea for a drag character uh, first saw it upon waking was um, Florence Nightingale, and it's like uh, <laughs> I think I put it on Instagram already, but it's like a guy, you know, like a, he's got a black eye and like a prison outfit that's been turned into a nurse's outfit, and mm. and uh, yeah, he's been he's been in jail for a night and he's been sodomized and turned into a nurse. <laughs> It's Florence. Who is Florence Nightingale? She's the blonde the, lady from the Brady Bunch. The nurse that no. created the Red Cross, I think. Oh, <laughs> the blonde. <laughs> who's the blonde? Who's the mom? Florence, Florence Henderson. Henderson, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I did not know who Florence Nightingale was. Yeah, she was a British social reformer and the founder of modern nursing. Mm. She was a manager of nurses during the Crimean War. I don't know. Oh, shit. I thought, what the fuck was the Crimean War about? You know, Where is Crimea? Oh, you know what she, it was Russia and she did not create. England. She did not create no? the Red Cross. She was awarded the Red Cross. And as a child, I was like, that's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> She's one of the three women that are remembered in history. Yeah. No, I don't know her. She's not. She does not make. I just time. know the name. I really. I've, don't know I've never did. heard the name until right now. I know Marie Curie. Marie Curie. She, Helen Keller. Helen Amelia Keller. Earhart. Amelia um, Earhart. Yeah, that's it. No, there's you guys. Joan of Arc. You guys want to do my bit? Joan of Arc. Oh yeah, that's right. You do have I his do. bit. Um, who are the who are the suffragettes? Wasn't there yeah, no one remembers their names. So. Yeah, no. There was the one with sunglasses. There was the one that played the saxophone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a it was a girl group, a Phil Spector girl yeah, group. Yeah, the California Suffragettes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. There was the, just the one with the trumpet. I remember mm-hmm. just wanting to know what was up with the California Raisins when I was a kid. I was like, what is... Am me I, too, they were captivating. Well, I was like, well, am Ray I like, am I, is that for them, me? Right? Is that, like, am I supposed to know what, is this for children? It was one of those weird, like, cartoon animated things that was like, you know, like the Exxon Tiger. I'm like, that's gas. I yeah. don't think I'm supposed to. Right. I don't think what I... Kind of fucking, I used to get yeah, excited. Dumbass, retarded adults are like, yeah, a cartoon. <laughs> the Tiger. It's Joe, like Joe Camel was like... <laughs> You know. Yeah, Joe Camel's clear. Yeah. I remember being as Joe a kid Campbell being like, oh, pussy. they're trying to get us to smoke. Yeah. Because <laughs> he rocked. I had a little Joe he's, Camel hat. He's pussy getting. Mm. He was getting pussy for sure. He was smooth. Uh, I remember yeah. thinking, the California getting raisins, excited when I saw the California Raisins come on the screen. California Raisins are racist, dude. These are... 100%. Oh, my yeah. God. Look at this. <laughs> well, wild. Ray Charles was like the lead singer, no? Look at this, dude. I don't think it was actually Ray Charles. I think they were like mimicking his voice. I thought he was in a California. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, this is just, this is fucking wild. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, did you send it to the thread? Yeah. Is that the thread? I mean, these are. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> dude. God damn, the lips, dude. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. Is it coming up on my screen? Am I showing it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you are. You could just do shit. How can I see your penis? Share oh, my God. The girl ones are even worse. Yeah, I know. Goddamn. Imagine being the advertising executive. It's like 1985. <laughs> You've just been... It was a smash hit. What do you mean? <laughs> I know, but... Didn't they get like a TV show? And he shit got a too? promotion. Yeah, dude. I'm sure he did. But I mean, just being coked out of your mind and pitching that, you're like, <clears throat> just put the raisins in blackface. No one will know. <laughs> Literally, no one will know. They're already fucking raisins. 
People have been <laughs> look. It's been thirty years since we've been able to do it. People are hankering for blackface to come back. I guarantee you, you slip this motherfucker under the radar. People aren't going to be able to tell you why they like it, but they will. They'll fucking like it. We got Ted Danson on board. Ted Danson. <laughs> Ted, shouts out to Ted Danson. I didn't realize he was rocking that weird Mel Gibson. Yeah. Um, in uh, Lethal Weapon ponytail. That's mm. but also from the front looks just like a regular yeah. comb over. For a back while. in those days, because he was married to one of the California raisins, actually. <laughs> <laughs> In 1987. Who, who, the, one with, the one with dreadlocks that would say honey child. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird that he was married to Whoopi Goldberg. Was he married or were they dating? Uh, I think they're dating. That's a, fu- that's a funny combo. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, it's weird to be. His wife guess, His wife right now is the hot, the hottest old lady. She is. One hot. of the hottest old ladies. 100%. She's fire. She is one of the top old ladies, I would say. I would, I would, I would let her teach me. The other yeah, one being the Calif- who's very similar is Catherine Keener. The California Raisins. That is, that's who it is. The California I Raisins was won one. an Emmy. It's Catherine <laughs> Keener. No, hold on. No, it's Catherine it's, it's Ke- Sternberger. He's married to Sternberger. It's not Catherine. Isn't that? Yeah. Who are you talking about? Mm. It's Danson's. Oh girlfriend? yeah, you're right. Nick. Yeah, it's. Uh, no, I'm right about Catherine Keener. Who is his wife then? Nick is right about her, but I'm Sternberger? right about Sternberger. Sternberger. Yeah, whatever her fucking name is. I never remember. It's the bitch. From Curb. That's right. She's, yeah, I like her. Yeah, I bet you do, bitch. Is Kathleen Keener even that old? How old is she? 61. Yeah, Mary Steenberg in is the... Uh... Steenberg. Yeah, she's cute. No, no, I was thinking of Catherine Keener, though. No, you weren't. Mary Steenberg is cute, though. Damn, Sandra Bullock is 55. Yeah, I mean, both she, of them have those kind of like alien faces. Yeah, I think I've lumped them together. Yeah. In terms of people, to, and they're the same jacking off to category yeah. in my yes, head. For sure. Same in category. The category of don't. Have you guys, what are, what are your masturbatory patterns? What did you say, like Nick? In the category of don't jack off to these people. <laughs> What do you mean don't? I have a list of people I will not masturbate to. <laughs> He's a principled masturbator. Nah, it's open season in my head, brother. Ooh, yeah, but yeah. I guess everyone's getting jacked off to up here. One of them was... You know, I've wait, been doing on, recently, hold on, hold on, revisiting hold on, hold on, favorites. Hold on, hold on. So they were in, inducted into the 2019 National Women's Hall of Fame, which... Who? The I don't know. It? One of them, they came up when I was Googling Mary Sternberger and Catherine Keener, but this was <laughs> this website. Both of them together. I the California no, Raisins no, no. <laughs> Introducing the 2019 National Women's Hall of Fame inductees. Uh, Gloria Allred, Angela Davis, Sarah Deer, Jane Fonda, Nicole. So the, That's another the, old lady. The, the requirements are that you're a woman. Yeah, that is so pathetic that women feel like they have to have a women's. I mean, hall it's of ridiculous. I mean, it's like just like, <laughs> that is also, sad. The men's hall of fame crushes. The women's hall of fame. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah really those are their hall of fame. I don't really be a dick. But pathetic. On, right. We got Genghis Khan, yeah. Alexander the Great, Michael Jordan. Well, I mean, it's such a broad category that you can call it the women's the hall women. of fame. I guess it's national, so it's for America. <laughs> Listen, uh, our national men's hall of fame still crushes. Yeah. George Washington? Mm. Yeah, probably still. It's closer, though. Um, if, we, if it was international, yeah, it's, it's about nowhere, the hall. It's I, not, I gotta see, it's not I gotta see if you can go, We've lapped them. go visit the <laughs> National Women's Hall of Fame. We should all go. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear that? Can you hear it playing? Not really. Uh, there's a video of it, but... If you do share screen with audio, we'll be able to. No, nah, because then it'll fuck up and there'll be like an echo or something. But will it? Yeah, I don't think it no, will. No, because the fine. audio outboard audio had to be muted so that the echo isn't there. So I won't oh. be able to do that. Yeah. You can do it. Uh, I can't. I don't see myself anymore. This is so funny. We should get. We should start a petition to get dice inducted. I want to. I'm just looking through it, trying to find. Most of these pictures are in black and white. There's not many of who here, but they got Julia Child in here. Okay, she's not American. She's one of the. Well, she's she's French, isn't she? She's British. No, she's she just talks stupid because she had a stroke. Oh no, hold it. Oh. She was born in California. Oh. <laughs> but this, hold on, wait. She she was born in California. 
What? I, Julia Child? Yeah, because I thought she was in like the OSS or some shit. She was like a. I thought she yeah. was British. Yeah, I thought she was British too. But I didn't think she was French. Yeah. Oh. It must have felt good to fuck Julia Child. Ooh. To get her really moaning like that, dude. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, but I mean. My pussy! <laughs> like they got Amelia Earhart in here, which, like, Amelia Earhart. Okay, just, she's one of the good. She just got she's one lost. Of the... Yeah. You know? I mean, she didn't really do anything special. Yeah, I she was bad that. at flying a plane. Yeah, that's my joke. Was it? Yep. You've seen me do it a bunch. <laughs> okay. Sorry for agreeing with what you said. Oh, is that said. what you were doing? You were agreeing with my bit? By yeah, you said she was lost, and I said she was bad at yeah. flying. Uh, I'm trying to find I'm trying to find funny ones on here. Are we all just looking at this now? No, I'm looking at Sandra no. Bullock's nudes. Oh, that. What are those like? Right. She was in a movie. I don't know what it was, but they looked yeah. really good. Okay, you know what? I found it. I found the one man that snuck in here. Uh, Juliet Gordon Lowe. Who's that? Jordy, yeah, she founded the Girl Scouts. But if you take a, uh, this is who founded the Girl Scouts. This, uh, this is hilarious. <laughs> this is clearly a man. <laughs> this is some guy. Juliet Gordon Lowe. Yeah. I'm gonna look. Oh right now. damn, bro. Oh, oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. This is a guy that snuck in. <laughs> He's like, right. Damn that nah, chin! She's she's looking real. She's looking real fucking. Yeah, I want to hang Eleanor Roosevelt. I want to hang out with girls. <laughs> I'm creating a yeah. I'm creating a girl version of the Girl Scouts, or the Boy Scouts, <laughs> and we're gonna. Yeah. Who's Andrew Lowe? Is he related to her? I mean, this is just a very lesbian ass woman. Right a very here. lesbian ass woman. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Dude, if I had a jaw like that, I would look. Way better. Yeah. Why don't you get a jaw implant while you're out there in Las Vegas? That's true. Well, they, they're not doing elective you're surgeries. Out it's galloping around, relaxing in Las Vegas. Whatever you're doing. Listen, you know. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Nick. You know. You're you know that I had an elective surgery schedule that got interrupted gam- by COVID. Just gambling all day long. Your rhinoplasty. Yeah. No. No, the foreskin reattachment surgery. <laughs> yeah. You know I've been planning that for months. Don't steal my swag. You can't have foreskin. I'm the only no, one. No, then we'll be foreskin. brother we'll be brothers of the hood, brother. <sighs> we won't we don't accept you, man. This isn't like Judaism. Come you can't on, just convert. Man. You convert. can't just convert. Can't Once it. you're snipped, it's gone. What's wrong, dude? I just I wanna live I wanna live a full life, you know? I wanna live a more enhanced life. It's over, man. Yeah. All right. If you do that, I'm gonna get epicanthic folds. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I thought white people have epic. Some of them do. Folds. I don't though. I got real. Oh, you're a Korean. I got real eyelids, dude. We should go to Korea. Oh, and... is that what a fold is? There's not a. It's not a full lid. No, it's they have they have another basically layer of skin on top of their mm. eyes. So it's like a Chinese person. If you pull their eyes back, they have normal eyelids, but then their eye is like <laughs> normal. <laughs> uh, well, no, I mean, yeah, it's like the majority of people. So. So it's easier. Nick, just do both. <laughs> so, so you does that help? Do you get do you do you trap more dust and shit in your extra eyelids? Yeah, it's because Korean people, uh, yes, they trap more dust in their <laughs> eyes. <laughs> I was planning on going to this Seoul and they, getting plastic. This is why they did. We evolved that so that we could trap more dust in our eyes <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> to save your eyeballs from the dust. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Is it an evolutionary advantage? Yeah. Like Richard Gere has an epicanthic fold. He does. You're right. Yeah. I guess uh, so. People with Down syndrome have them. I think. Yes, mongoloids. Yeah. <laughs> mongoloids. Mongoloids. It's, it's mongoloid. still so funny yeah. that that's what the word used to be. Yeah, I mean, it still is. It's funny. And my grandma. Some... My grandma used to say that all the time when I was growing up. She'd be like, oh, he had, yeah, he had a mongoloid baby. <laughs> <laughs> it was scientific. Yeah, no, he, yeah, they had a mongoloid baby. They got a nice little house in Rhode Island, and it's such a tragic thing. They had a mongoloid baby <laughs> that they had to give away to the state to be processed into cheese for the poor. They had to send him to a sanitarium. Yeah, that's back. That was another feature of when things were perfect in the 1920s and 30s. When gay mm-hmm. men were forced into that's marriages right. with fat women. And the mongoloid babies were turned into glue. <laughs> <laughs> they were behaviorally corrected into glue. Either you work at the glue factory or you become glue. Yeah. Mm. 
Those are your two options. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Mikey, you got two options. You can either get, you can either work here, or we can turn you into the glue. <laughs> And then you can, then you're gonna be back. You want to go back and hang out with your friends in the class? Well, you will, but this time as a glue stick. <laughs> That's what the Elmer's glue guy. He was, he was the first one. Yeah, he looks. He's not a cow. He's a severely and retarded. He's a boy. disabled guy. <laughs> who they all look like that when they would go into the factory. Like, where are we going? Like, you're going to work. You got a job. Congratulations, <laughs> mom. I got a job. It's okay. Go do your job, Georgie. They're having a graduation ceremony. Go, go do your job. <laughs> All George. their families are there. Yeah. And they just fucking and... put them into the plane. <laughs> <laughs> they step onto the conveyor belt waving. Yeah. Go do your job, George. <laughs> you just <laughs> classic cartoon shit. Yes. <sighs> yeah. Juliet Gordon Lowe. I didn't realize Girl Scouts don't do like the same shit Boy Scouts do. Yeah, they don't. They do like more domestic yeah, shit. Yeah, they pee sitting down and they talk, make cookies and shit. Yeah. Dude, uh-huh. I would love to. Eat. They put pillows in their t-shirts, pretend they're pregnant. I would love to eat an entire box of Girl Scout cookies. Oh my god, Thin Mints. Woo! Samoas. Samoas. Amen. Samoas are so Samoas good. are a little too intense for me. They're, How do they get them so good? They're good, but I mean, I could never eat an entire box of those motherfuckers. Why Not can't Why can't a regular cookie company just make those kind of cookies they twelve do. months a year? They do. they do. They do. Yeah, Keebler makes a lot. Oh, of them. Keebler makes a lot of them. Yeah, the peanut butter Girl Scout cookies are too. What are the What are they called? Oh yeah, those are good as fuck. I don't know what Tagalogs. Tagalogs. Yes, those are fucking big dick shit right there. Peanut butter Girl Scout cookies. Peanut butter Girl Scout cookies. Yeah, dude. Tagalogs. I want to put them in my Fuck. mouth. Oh, Isn't that what uh, <laughs> Filipino people speak? Close. Yeah. I want them. I don't exactly know I want to eat. I want to eat these so fucking bad right now, dude. <laughs> Meet the 2018 Girl Scout cookies. Tagalogs. Dosi Dose. Dosi Dose are the ones. What are those? Dosi Dose are the ones I was thinking of. They're crunchy oatmeal That's... sandwich cookies filled with peanut butter. Oh, what the fuck? Do I even know I've never about even that? heard of that. The Tagalogs are like thin mints with peanut butter in the middle. Oh, I fuck with all that type They're of good, shit. They're good, dude. Oh, they got oh, Tagalogs are tree good, foils. Yeah. They got a new shortbread cookie now. They got a toffee-tastic cookie. Oh, see, I don't even know about dosi dos, but I'm interested in these motherfuckers. Where's the money about. going to? I feel like it's a, like some sort of nefarious. I don't think yeah, it's a scam. You wanna, like what, Adam? I don't know, going to some sort of nefarious... They're sending out all this free labor, all these little girls. Uh, what's in Working for zero dollars. Well, Their parents are probably paying fees for them to be in the Girl Scouts. Then the girls are making all this money for them. Yeah. But oh, slavery. What was her name? Here's the thing. It's like, I get really upset... Juliet Gordon Lowe. ...about child sex trafficking, but if it came out that it was absolutely necessary to molest these children to have those cookies exist... <laughs> I, I think I would have find my breaking point in which society needs the glue to hold mm-hmm. the bolts in place. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And sometimes man, I get it. Sometimes that glue, it's made out of retarded people. Sometimes that delicious <laughs> retard glue's got to go on thick. <laughs> <It's> not, <laughs> <laughs> you got to put a couple layers of that shit on gotta, society to make it function. Slat <laughs> that retard boy glue up. Just glue up the whole society with that retard glue. If that means I can't get my goddamn dosy dose, then so be it. Then so be it. I ain't going. What am I going to do? Sit here and will myself diabetes? I'm trying to die of a stroke at 62 years old. I can't live in this world as an old man. I ain't got no health insurance. I ain't got nobody to take care of me. <laughs> what if that. <laughs> What if they were had the cookies that were like 80% as good? No. No, they, I mean, they have those, dude. All the fucking, like, right. knockoff versions of Girl Scout cookies, especially those Snackwell bullshit Thin Mints. You ever yes, fuck up and have yeah, one of those? I know precisely the ones you're describing. They should be called Snack Not So Well. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. No. Uh, face. Yeah. Hey, Snackwell. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. 
How about how about suck well yeah. onto this dick? How about eat you fucking eat piece my of ass. shit? Yeah, the snack well devil's food mint fudge mint marshmallow cookies. Fuck they that took a shit. they took a thin mint and then they added marshmallow to it so they wouldn't get completely s- unnecessary because they're afraid of children. Because you're muddling it, you piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. Who asked for the marshmallow? Uh, Oh, I'm looking at a picture and I'm fucking pissed I'm, off. I'm pissed off for you. Those suck Stop, so much down, dick. Bro. I can't, yeah. bro. I can't. You're hot, bro. I'm hot right now. Yeah. Snackwell. Fuck Snackwells, dude. Browse our products. Chocolate cream sandwich cookies. Fuck. Browse fuck this you. Dick, they suck. Chocolate mint devil's food cookie cakes. Fuck you. Devil's food cookie cakes. Fuck you. How the fuck are you going to have dick. two different devil's food pro- like products? Who Ooh. asked for that? Who the fuck gives a shit? Nobody, bitch. Ooh, you know what I would love? Devil's food. That's Ugh. a fat. That's a. That is a, a secretary that looks like the Gungan leader's favorite snack. <laughs> <laughs> red velvet and devil's food are both for like yeah, guilt. Red velvet. Those are guilty pleasures. Just eat the fucking dessert, you piece of shit. Absolutely. This is for people that think they're too classy for Oreos. Exactly. You fucking. This idiot. is the kind of stuff that people who like wiping. Uh, their- I knew you were going to say it, and it's not. It is not that. That, that is not. Well, true. You, yeah, you could say some people. Not true. Some at all. people might draw that conclusion. I would say no. No one would. I- <laughs> No one of the right of their right I, mind would. Uh, frankly, some folks would. I, I would say no, is, that is this is a product being marketed to you that you you're brainwashed to do mm. wiping of your own design. Snackwells. That's all that comes from your head. Snackwells your is heart. a very wipeable. Uh, it's absolutely not. It nobody what nobody that has snackwells. Sort wipes. of a wipe. They would never think to sort wipe of a, their sheet. a wiped style cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> How dare yeah. you! How fucking dare you How the fuck? me with a fucking Snackwell Why theater? the fuck does Snackwells even have a website? <laughs> what am I, it's like solely for what? To pull it up on a podcast and say fuck you for your shitty cookies? <laughs> to look at how shitty they're... Can you pretty, order? Yeah, no. You can't even no, order. No, it's just here. like check it out. They're proud of themselves. And then, it, then yeah. you can also go to B&G Foods homepage. Delicious food from our family to yours. And then look at this Ugh. website. Here, go to it real quick. There's a dinner yeah, table, and then the background is, like, blurred out to create a sense of depth. But it just looks like it's censored. So it looks like it's a, <laughs> there's a bunch of people fucking or committing, like, you know, disgusting acts behind. I hate their green boxes, too. Their whole aesthetic sucks. No, we're at B&G Foods now. We've moved on from snack oh. balls. B&G What's Foods? B&G Foods? It's the company that owns. It's probably some German conglomerate that makes, like, fucking... HVAC equipment. Oh, yeah. It definitely looks like someone's fisting someone yeah. in front of a pizza crust. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's awful. Yeah, but, but they just own all of these brands like Carrie's or Buena Vita or Crock-Pot. Ortega, Bear Creek, Green Giant. Green Giant. Victoria. Yeah. Tones. Accent Damn. flavor enhancer. This is fucked up. I hate, I hate realizing that we live in a society that only the eight motherfuckers own everything. Yeah. Damn, it's brutal. Now I'll never be able to enjoy cream of weed again. <laughs> Grandma's molasses. Never heard of that. Yeah. Don Pepino. Fuck that. I knew that was bullshit. Yeah. Emerald Lagasse. New, bro- New York flatbread. Of course. That. Oh, sk- they own Skinny Girl margaritas. Shit. Yeah. What's that? Spice Island. Fuck that. I don't know any. What? They own Weber Grills. What the fuck? Those are good grills. Yeah. That's a good. That's a. I guess not anymore. I don't believe that they are. Yeah. I'm gonna get a green egg. I'm gonna get a smoker. Right. We got one in my, in the backyard downstairs. Really? Yeah. The only I'm thing gonna... that's like safe from that, I think, is the micro brew industry, where it's all just those are all like, I think there's still a lot of like independent breweries or whatever. But I have, yeah. I have no fun. Syrups. And I have spreads. no fucking idea. I was under the impression that there's no such thing as like small food manufacturers anymore. Like there's like yeah. three brands that make Maybe absolutely not. everything. And then, That's and then there's a lot of like the beer companies got into making their own shit too. Yeah, but everyone knows it's fake. Yeah, but even the the real micro brew. I mean, that culture is so fucking obnoxious. You're right. I don't like. I give a fuck right. about about beer. Yeah, I always. <laughs> I, I've, I'm I, after a long day of work. I love like t- wiping the sweat from under my newsy cap and enjoying a <laughs> stupid retard bastard ale. 
<laughs> all the way from from Bakersfield, California's stupid bastard ninety minutes. <laughs> Nothing I like more than w- yeah. sucking stupid bastard ale out of my red. I goatee. love having dumb faggot bastard. <laughs> I've been my 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 retard bastard IPA. <laughs> Raped, retard, <laughs> bastard, 90 minutes. Yeah, dog shit pussy. Me and my fat poly wife yeah. love kicking back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My fucking... I'm drinking nightmare dog pussy. <laughs> uh, 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 Hefeweizen. It's a really, really great brew. You have to have it. You have to drink it out of a special cup. <laughs> I have to have my dog pussy nightmare fuel out of a special bastard. <laughs> special retard bastard cup. God damn, that shit sucks. Yeah. Just wearing suspenders. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah, I accidentally spilled a bunch of my beard oil in my retard 20 minute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck, dude. Yeah, Yeah, it is pretty gay. (laughs) Maybe I should start drinking again. Drinking, I mean, I don't miss it at all, really. It's weird. I thought that I would, but, or like, especially with quarantine, but the idea of just sitting around my apartment drunk is disgusting. What I do wish is that I enjoyed being high. I would Mm. love to be, I would love to have a good high throughout all this. That would be nice. I'm with you. I miss that. I took edibles for the first time uh, two days ago, and I was like, I don't need to. It do sucks this. because, like, at, at, it's at 13 years old, if you could tell me I could just sit in an apartment with a giant TV and a surround sound system and video games yes, and get high as fuck <laughs> and, like, do whatever I wanted, I would be like, like that. Higher than you can even fathom with the weed you're smoking at 13. I, I mean, the amount I've been high as a fucking late twenties man is would blow teenage me's yeah. fucking head. You're in your thirties. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm talking back yeah. then. Okay. I, I've gotten higher in my late twenties. <laughs> I did. I did an estimation. Yeah. I know I'm 31 years yeah. old. I've cooled off in my thirties. Have you? Was my point. I haven't. Compared to my I've, late, it's 20s. crazy. I've smoked weed probably four times in the last like five years. Uh, really? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I, like never. I felt like you had like one or two weeks where you smoked a lot of weed. No, I never smoked a lot of weed. Even what I would do is I would just hit what, take one like hit. whatever is left in Amber's bowl that she would leave out. I would like smoke resin mm. basically. Take one hit, get like <laughs> con- like just barely high. And then, I like resin hits. And then just use that to, like, no. maybe get work done or, like, think. They're sick. Just to get, like, a nice, like, very calm sort of body high. The bet, What I really mm. miss is, like, being burnt, you know, where you just get, like, high as fuck and then you come. The day after. Not the day after, but, like, hours. No, no, like, two hours Two hours later, later dude. Yeah, I hate that. When I was, I love it, dude. When I was like 17, 18, I'd wake up hungover as shit and I would get incredibly fucking high with my bitch girlfriend. <laughs> and then we would like go to Checkers or something and I'd like fix Hell the yes. hangover with weed and cheeseburger. Dude, that was, that is the best feeling yeah. in the world. <laughs> Fixing a hangover with weed uh, and fucking yeah. cheeseburgers. Yeah. <laughs> that is really nice. And then like go back and then like watch something like High Plains Drifter for the first time ever. You know, mm-hmm. and you're like, holy shit. Yeah. What an awesome movie. Yes, sir. <laughs> it is an awesome movie. Yeah. Never seen it, but I mean, I'll put it on the yeah. list. Put it on the Just list. Being, kind of, being burnt and walking around like it's a very prominent rate. nature. That shit's oh, fucking odd. That's the thing. That's what I could do. I could smoke weed and go out in the fucking woods. Yeah, that's nice. That's always nice. If you, if I'm moving, if I blaze and I'm moving, but if I'm sedentary and I blaze, then I just, yeah, I hate mm-hmm. it. Just a, I don't hate activity. It. Just a quick reminder to plug our sponsor, um, Stupid Bastard Retard CBD. <laughs> the Extreme Bastard Bomb. Death Faggot CBD. <laughs> faggot. <laughs> the ba- the ba- Death Faggot. The faggot Bastard CBD. <laughs> Murder <laughs> Homo CBD <Yeah>. Ale. <laughs> it's so good, you'll turn gay. <laughs> if you're already gay, well, now you... No, no, you, your asshole glow in the dark. <laughs> mm. I would love to get a job at a CBD shop. 
you know? Yeah. And then like day mm-hmm. one, not, you know, use a fake name or whatever. Day one, first customer comes in and just be like super enthusiastic about CBD oil and then just lie to customers with like the bullshit, like anecdotal, like it's anecdotal, of course, but my, um, my sister-in-law, she had a nephew that had Down syndrome. They started putting CBD oil in his food and he's fine now. He's perfectly fine. <laughs> It cured it. Lo- I mean, you can't say it cured, but he's capable of reading and yeah. he's living a normal he's life. He's living a normal life now. So it's not like, you know, a cure per se, but there's a lot of things like a friend of mine, he stopped taking all of his HIV medicine. <laughs> and he's been instead. He, he doesn't even need to use condoms to have sex. Yeah, he anymore. stopped using condoms. He's just vaping gummy worms all day long. It's like prep. Yeah, he's been eating CBD gummy worms, and instead of taking raw, instead of going to chemotherapy, he's that's what he's doing. Another friend of mine, they were molested repeatedly growing up. They were raped violently by their uncle, and they had all this like trauma they couldn't process and. You know, he was going to therapy, but he actually got off all of his like mood stabilizing medications and stopped talking to his therapist. And instead, he's been taking CBD. He's been putting a little bit of CBD oil in his hen- uh, heroin and fentanyl. And it's really just mellowed him out. And, and so that's like, it's kind of like a miracle. You can't say it's a miracle drug because of the FD- FDA, but it's uh it really is like just it cures almost every disease possible it's unbelievable you, yeah. you, you said your son has autism yeah i would take him out of school and make him smoke weed all day long <laughs> <laughs> and see if that fixes it <laughs> yeah oh yeah fuck dude you know what else i saw that i did not like is jaws you didn't like jaws it's didn't like it's jaws good. i love jaws I think I just saw it too late, man. Too many, too many things have already. That are just more. You probably already jaws. knew what it was. Stop. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's stop. You know, you know what you should watch on. is uh, Event Horizon. Okay, what's Event Horizon? It's like a sci-fi horror. Is that movie. Lawrence Fishburne? They go to. They go to like they're like exploring a black hole, and it's like a portal portal to hell. Oh hell yeah, dude! Absolutely, I'm in. Yeah, I'm so in on if that. You like uh, like aliens? It's good. Yes. I have, you know what? I'm going to do Alien Kick next. I, I did some film noir. I did that recently. I think it's. I did Kung Fu. I think it's time to do some Alien You know what? I, you know what I wish is that I never read a single review or anyone else's opinion about either Prometheus, Prometheus or Covenant. I never saw Prometheus. Dude, lucky for me, I don't even know what the fuck those Good, dude. Are. Then don't ever Google them. Just fucking watch them. They're the. I remember the later. Should so I watch? Excited. I know Prometheus is, has, has something to do with. Yeah, Alien it's like Alien. a. It's like a like a prequel, but like way back. And then, and then okay, Aliens cool. Covenant is, I think, the sequel to Prometheus, or the, it's the one comes before that. Fuck it. It's alien movie time, yeah. bro. That's what I'm going to do this week. Yeah. There you go. Watch you can go ahead and skip the first one. Alien or alien. Aliens? Which is not an opinion. It's not good? It's it's fine, but Aliens is... I don't know if I've aliens seen... Aliens is... I've seen aliens. 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 I don't know if I've seen a full movie from that series. Aliens is way better than the first one. Aliens rocks, it's dude. It's so fun. The first good. one... The, the second one improves on the first one. Yeah. And the sec- I definitely saw the James Cameron yeah, It's one, like... It's, you know what it is? Here's a perfect example. Fucking Terminator 2 versus Terminator. Terminator, Terminator 2 is... Good movie. So Terminator 2 is a million good. times better. Okay. Yeah, fuck it. I might, I might still watch it just because I. Another, just another cause. comparison. Uh, Super Nintendo versus regular Nintendo. Ooh, that's perfect. They're very similar. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it is nice though to just play Nintendo just for nostalgia's sake. Yeah, I never had Nintendo. I, feel- I didn't have a Super Nintendo either. I had a Super. I, had a Super. I did not have. I didn't have the regular, but I played Pete. My buddy Pete had a Nintendo. And felt nice playing. Yeah, it. I mean, mm-hmm. Super Nintendo is the only one that. Because I would play it on emulators. And then yeah. there was Super Nintendo games I played on emulators. What an awesome name, Super Nintendo. Yeah, they just... Great name. That shit sounds so I, re- cool. I still, to this day, <laughs> remember when I got the Super Nintendo. It might have been the happiest moment of my entire life. Yeah, I got, I got it from Costco. From Costco. My dad just went to Costco. Yeah. he said, I got something in the trunk. Can you help me bring in the groceries? Donkey Kong. And I saw a Super pack. Nintendo in there, and I was like... Ah! I was yeah, there was so like Mario... Stoked. There's Mario and Donkey Kong. It came in like a little pack. Yeah, Mario. Yeah, Mario. Uh, you guys ever play the Power Rangers Super Nintendo game? Yeah, maybe I should get a Super Nintendo and hook it up to the TV, and then get yeah, another yes. get a flash cart. Because I have yeah, a dude. Nintendo sixty four with a flash cart that I got from Ukraine, and hell yeah, and I got I got you know what I got a lot of use out of that actually. 
But you did. You had a nice run on that. Yeah, shit. but it's like ninety percent of the games are dog shit. It's not worth playing. I right. think about like I how much time I would spend playing like Wave Race. Like literally all day long, I could play Wave Race. Well, I think to be fair, Nintendo sixty four kind of is in that weird, uncanny valley where it's not bad enough to be quaint and not good enough to be like passable. Like GameCube is good; you can play GameCube. GameCube rocks. And Nintendo Super Nintendo is cool because it's like little pixels and shit. It's never gonna go. It's not. But gay N sixty four was a, their first attempt at real graphics. Do you remember and how some of them good it dick. looked at the time, dude? Playing Madden. You're like, whoa! This is just like football. I remember a golden eye, and I was like, this is this is beautiful. Yeah. And I fired up, I fired up Madden. Like this was even five years. This is a long time ago. This is before I moved to New York. I found it in my parents' house, and I was like, oh, I can't wait to play some Madden. It was horrific. I would play. It, my eyes didn't even understand how to house. fucking. Yeah, play. it looks terrible on like a modern screen. Yeah. yeah, you have to remember too. You were playing that shit on like a fucking like fifteen inch television, totally. Which <laughs> yeah, somehow yeah. like on the other side of the room. Yeah. And you're like awesome, yeah. and you can like see yeah. that. Like I, <laughs> I have no idea. Like I, I watched so many movies when I was like, um, like a teenager on like literally a 20 inch TV screen, and yeah. I'm and Absolutely. like from again from across the room, and there's like with a VHS built yeah, right. and there's this, these are movies that I can right tell here, you to... like everything about, and they're like burned into my memory, and now I have it like. Just films like blasting into my fucking face. I'm like, which one's the Chinese guy? <laughs> Who's the? Ch- what is this called? The Chinaman? And they're yeah. like, no, it's Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. And I'm like, is his skull That's another one like, the Chinese like. skull? Is that what it is? <laughs> Who is talking to you while you're watching I'm these just, movies? I'm by, by myself. The way. Yeah, he's <laughs> shouting at himself. And it's a chi- you say he's Indiana Chinese is his name? His name is Indiana Chinese. Indiana Chinese. And he's from China. His name is his name is China Jones. You saying? Just doing characters to yourself. Yeah, just die to not feel just lonely. Just diarrhea le- No dad. Leaking out of the bottom of my pants all over the carpet. What is this Chinese Chinese spaceship? Is called it's called Star Trek. The Chinese, yeah. Okay, all right. We'll see about that. <laughs> I'd like to see a Chinese drive a spaceship. <laughs> you know, just, that is something I would like to see. <laughs> just getting sepsis from my own diarrhea leaking into my bed sores. Quarantine. <laughs> God damn, it's getting hot, boys. Yeah. I'm gonna have to fucking fire up the AC. Yeah, I'm not. My there. titties are sweating. It's like yeah, it's very hot here. We had a hundred degrees for the first bitch. time in April. Seventy seven. I gotta get out there, man. I'm gonna have a nice afternoon. Yeah, it's nice. I'm gonna go sit on the fucking. Balcony. I gotta reinstall or install new grommets for my windshield wiper motors. Very hey, nice. what, what? Maybe you should install new Wallaces. Well, also. that's what I was saying, man. If I could smoke weed, I, the other day I had the thought. I'm like, what if I could just get high as shit and rewatch all the Wallace and Gromit movies? I bet mm. you could. That would be awesome. Let, let me tell you something, brother. I believe that you can. I do can't. That. <laughs> I don't even know where to get weed. Yeah. I mean, I literally have. I have no idea. They have delivery. Services. I have not paid for fucking marijuana since probably fucking 2009. Hilarious. Yeah. yeah. That's so the funny. only drug I've paid for probably since 2009 is fucking uh, cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. That makes Everything sense. else has just been given to me. I love, dude. That's the other thing I miss about being on tour. Just sliding through somebody handing me loose pills. Yeah. Taking them. Don't even know what the fuck they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trusting a stranger right. <laughs> to not murder yeah. me. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's even weird to think that you have to pay for drugs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Should be communal, bro. Yeah, they should be free. Well, kind of. It's Mother Gaia's medicine. Yeah, it does. Yeah, this Xanax is from. It the does Earth, work man. that way. I mean, it does. Like you make it illegal, and then the things that exist outside of the law, they still operate within a capitalist framework. Where, like, if yes, you want to make money off them, you want to buy them, you can. But then, if you just need them, you can get them. And that's the thing I tell drug addicts all the time. It's like you're broke, you're homeless. It's like, you know, that's this is your fault. You could just be famous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you could, and you then could you wouldn't have to be a rock. You star. wouldn't have to pay for all these drugs. I know. You could just be a. But you didn't apply you yourself. Didn't apply yourself. You didn't work for it, and mm-hmm. that's why, fucking. That's why we don't have AOC in the White House. 
It's your fault. It's That's your right. fault. That's why we got four more it's years your, of you know who coming it's up. It's your fault, Mr. Hummus. I just got to text someone. <laughs> we'll give you weed. What's that? Huh? My friend's watching. Right I mean, now, you know, the so truth is, I don't actually want it. It would yeah, be it would be um, awful. I no, was, you were that's you got Andre Steakhouse from your weed phase. It wasn't a weed phase. There was one time I was high and I came up with a joke. <laughs> it was very funny. <laughs> it's like you're you got a whole t-shirt funny. You line. Do, you do you, mythologize that, yeah. Adam. That I thought it was got, very funny. Smoked weed. It just he came up with something yeah. one of the days. I've probably come up with five thousand jokes on this show without like the need of, of being. Yeah, high. but the the, the weed. And was also, it's I do think there was some. There was that was batting around for a while until it got crystallized. Andre Steakhouse, mm, definitely. No, we I, certainly played around. I, well, maybe yeah, maybe on the show, I guess. Yeah, that that kind of guy. Maybe that's the problem. We're talking, yeah, ran the, out of guys. Cell phone, cell phone belt clip. Black maybe guy. we need aliens to invade, so we have someone new to be racist in a funny way too. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe racism. Maybe society didn't evolve. You know, mm-hmm. maybe it was just like we went around the world. And mm-hmm. we met all of the races and we did jokes for a while. And then eventually the jokes themselves just got boring and unfunny. Yeah. And then people mm-hmm. were like, maybe we should stop doing these jokes. It wasn't like the jokes were always funny. And then people were like, it's wrong to say them. You know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if we had, I if we had so. aliens that came, you know, and they were like, we all want to meet the president. Yeah, they're retards. Yeah, well, they no, they're aliens. They sound similar. Yeah, but to, they just use. It's them. different. It's like how retards kind of sound deaf sometimes. But you know, like you might try to do it. So this becomes a trifecta. It now. is now a trifecta between aliens, deaf, and the. I don't know how would aliens. What does a stupid alien sound like? They would be beaming right into our brains, brother. Unfortunately, yeah. Is that what you want? Yeah, it'd be like you don't have your brain. They would speak with light. You don't have your brain you know? beamed in. What's you that? Your brain beamed in. That's what's gonna happen, dude. Yeah. Yo, I bet aliens don't even want to fuck with us, dude. Why? Yeah, dude. They they checked it out and they're like, "No, nah, I'm good." Nope. Uh, <laughs> wait, I'm sorry. Who's president? <laughs> Next, please. Yeah. yeah, we'll wait for a lady. Mm. <laughs> then we'll come down. I really hope. Did you see that article that was like? Uh, you know, I mean, it's now it's time for Biden to nominate Hillary, and then and incredible then, and stuff. Then step. Well, that no, that she's she's still waiting in the wings. Yeah, was, I think that's what it said. To, yeah. to what lose? She's ready Dude, for her call. I, I, if I if we got to witness her getting the nomination again <sighs> and then just losing, but her please, not even getting please. not even getting the popular vote this time, just being just fucking slaughtered. Even Trump. more of a layup election I, with the code. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it would be the f- it would rock. the funniest thing I've ever seen and ever yeah. will see in my entire life. It would be hilarious, but it's also even if she wins, it's almost like when they give the special needs manager, they let him run a ceremonial touchdown yeah. in. It's like it's like you, you like Democrats should be able to win this. This is the easiest possible one. But guess what? This is like the, they give the manager, they give the they give him a shot at a three pointer, and he just shits his pants yeah. and throws the ball and just kills a woman in the stands then, with the ball. And then everyone has to pretend like they made the shot. Mm. And then they're like, apologize to him. Yeah. Apologize because he shit his I pants. Hope, I hope that happens. I would love. I would want nothing more than Hillary Clinton to be the nominee and then fucking just get just absolutely dunked on. And there's not a single debate. They don't happen. There's no debates. They bring nothing new to the table. There's no reason. I over. swear to God, if they don't have debates this time around, Ooh, they've been talking fuck, about that. I, I'm going to be so pissed. Fucking, Biden can't even talk. Any yeah, yeah, so the <laughs> debates are going to rock. Yeah. Him versus Trump. Trump's going to be so mean. <laughs> Trump's going to fucking win. What the fuck? No, I How? Think, I, but think, he, I don't think. You don't think Trump's going to win? At the, right now, no. Yeah, he's got. That's what we said a hundred fucking times. No, but time. like with the, he said that the virus was going to go away, and so, I mean, it, although Who I don't know, gives a Who fuck? fucking knows. He never loses, bro. The Teflon Don himself. We'll see. I guess so. Maybe it's stupid to say, but I at this right now today, I, I don't feel like he's going to win. There's that. What's that? That Onion article where it's like, boy, I'd sure love to see Trump wriggle, or maybe it's a tweet. I'd love to see him. And Trump then he wriggles out. out yeah, and someone he easily tweeted. does. Yeah. It's a good ass tweet. Yeah. What was the onion one where it was like, haha, 
Oh, this guy's ridiculous, says increasingly more nervous man about Trump. And it's like, <laughs> this motherfucker's on a winning streak, bro. And I don't even think this is going to stop him when you got fucking rapist ass Joe out there, finger popping Joe, not being able to complete sentences. That's the thing. It's like, you know, it, even if he wasn't, because I don't think the rapist Joe Biden thing matters. And I've said as much. I don't, I don't think people give a shit. They yeah, don't. They don't. I mean, it's kind of just like a gotcha over Kavanaugh stuff. It's like it's that's not going to be like a fucking issue for a guy in Pennsylvania no. who's like, you know, well, I'm a Democrat, but I'm conservative. And my number one issue is did Joe Biden rape? Did Joe Biden <laughs> that, finger, we, that they're not believing who, women? Did, yeah. Who, believe women is the most important thing to me. Yeah, certainly not yeah. taxes. <laughs> it's certainly right. not the only thing I care about is fucking taxes. That's all everyone cares. about. Yeah. Not me. I care about Girl Scout cookies. Uh-huh. I care about different ways to try to play video games, weed, you know, <laughs> try to try to think of different like You're joking, but that is the stuff I Dude, care you about. know how pathetic it is? I sit on my couch all day long doing nothing, pretending I'm smoking weed and playing video games. <laughs> I sit there doing nothing. Literally fucking yeah. nothing. Maybe like tidying a bit. I think what if I was high? I'm like, that's a nice thought. Yeah, what if I could enjoy being What if high? I could enjoy anything? Instead, yeah. I won't. Instead, yeah. I won't live the life that's directly in front of me. Unfortunate, you have to punish yourself. I do. You could surrender to gluttony like some of your friends or God. have done. Like who? Some of your friends. But what did Adam say? I don't say know. God. God? God's gay, dude. Yeah. Adam, what painting are you working Yeah, God is gay. Deal with it, dude. Yeah. What if God sucked on my cock? Yeah. How about a sh- how about a shirt that says "I met God"? She's a retard. <laughs> and then it's like just like a smug-looking female God with Down syndrome. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I met God. She's uh, a mental retard. Actually, she's a mongoloid. <laughs> That's a good ass shirt. Draw those. Get the prototypes for that one going. What if Joe Biden fingered God? I met God. She said Joe Biden fingered her. Mm Mm-hmm. That'd be fun. That's a fun one, too. That's a good one. I met God. She said Joe Biden fingered her in 1993. Believe God. Yeah. Oh, fuck. All right, boys. Well, I I think I'm going to go have a smoothie. You know what? I don't think Joe Biden actually did it, by the way. Interesting. And here's why. Because I think he's so senile that if he had done it, he would tell it as an anecdote as to why we don't need universal health care on stage. That's true. <laughs> like, That's true. You know, everybody says we need that, we need this, we need that. That's the way to you got you gotta have these things. I'll tell you, there was back in the day there was a girl with collar legs. She came by and I used to stick my finger in her pussy without asking her. And you know, back in those days, it was okay. You know, that's what you would do. I was the manager of a pool or a senator or something like that. Everyone was in the doo-wop group yeah. or fingering girls without their permission. Right. There was no such thing. You wouldn't say with consent. And then I think about all of these 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 first responders. And it's just the the price of... of of the the Blue Angels is is you know it's the whole thing is it's changing whether it's Monday or Tuesday who even knows what, <laughs> what you're talking about when it's it's you got you got look if you want a finger you can finger or, you know don't, I I don't care next question powerful words from Vice yeah. President Biden okay, yeah them. looking <laughs> majestic and presidential and really the only option to vote for. In this upcoming election, is this befuddled fucking piece of shit? <laughs> <laughs> it is insane yeah. that they're like, yeah, no, we just this, it's got this feeble minded fucking degenerate, just scum, <laughs> just the fucking worst option in the world. Piece of dog <laughs> shit, everything wrong with politicians. <laughs> Involved in ev- one yeah. every disastrous piece of legislation. Yeah. He got like he, he he's he, all over it. He threw Anita Hill it under rocks. the bus. Yeah. Anita Hill, the crime bill, the fucking Patriot Act. <laughs> he's a rapist and he can't fucking talk. Mm. <laughs> 
God damn, Democrats fucking rock. Res- honestly, respect. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like, it's funny because it's like, it feels like it's part of like the rube, you know, it's, or, 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 or part of the, uh, the roots where they're just like, they're making democracy seem like such an awful option that authoritarian fascism is the only choice. That it's yeah. like, yeah. it's like, I don't even want to know that there's an election going on. If these are my yeah. choices, A, I don't want to make the choice. And B, I don't want to hear that anyone is being made to either. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, just put us in jail. Just fucking <laughs> just do it. At this point, I mean, fuck. Yeah, dude. Shout out to Kim Jong Un surviving. Yes. Surviving too. And that's it. the thing is these stupid fucking idiots is just we had to listen to a week about like get ready for the girl boss. And it's like, is this happening? Is there any fucking indication that this is what's actually I think people were doing that as a bit. I don't think no, was, they, they were, weren't. Could, they dude, were no. honestly they were that's not everyone. ridiculous. No, I mean for well, I mean there's no like it wasn't happening. I mean, it was just like this fucking fantasy. And then we had to have a conversation about like, well, Josh, actually it's not feminism. Cause she's like, and it's like, this isn't <laughs> happening. That hasn't happened yet. You're like projecting your stupid, like fucking 2019 world onto North Korea. <laughs> it's not even our world anymore. Pathetic. Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Life is fucking gay. You know, it's like, I mean, it's, it's Yeah. I'm, you know what take I'm surprised we haven't heard is that, like, people uh, don't take Corona seriously because it has a feminine name. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. If it, oh, because it ends with an awesome. A. Yeah, if it had a more masculine name, people would be, they would respect the virus enough. <laughs> I think it should have a Chinese name because that's who gave it to us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't have, I have no idea what's going on with that. I barely pay attention to it, but it was like, I, I don't, instinctually, I did not feel like there was anything, like, reactionary or even racist by suggesting that possibly the virus escaped from a lab where they were researching it. That seems like an accident yeah. that could happen fucking anywhere. You know? Mm-hmm. I know. And the, I think you did. You said that on a, on a past show that it's mo- it's so much more racist <laughs> yeah. to be like they ate, they, they got it from eating yeah. cats than to yeah. be like they got it from being sm- right, smart. Right, from being scientists. scientists. They got it from being nasty. <laughs> yeah. No, they were eating their own shit. Shit is part of a sex ritual. <laughs> they were just—they were being. They were having sex with dogs. Sick. Okay, that's where it came from, asshole. <laughs> but now there's like now it's like there is like the, that is that is what happened. I guess is that there's like there is evidence of that, and now there's like that has to be fucking walked back or reframed, right? Wait, it, it did know. come I from a lab? No, I saw. I, I'm like, I just have to actively not fucking. Yeah, I'm done. Just checked, I'm checked out. out. Yep, can't pay attention to it. Um, it yeah, fuck, man. I hope the I hope all these motherfuckers opening up. I hope it doesn't lead to some more shit. What do you mean? More cases, because like Georgia opened their malls and shit. Yeah, I mean, it probably will lead to more cases. Like the well, whatever. Yeah, I think anyway, people. I think people are still. Abiding by the shutdown in a lot of those places. But a lot of motherfuckers aren't, though. Yeah. I think a lot of people are still, though. Uh, and then you knows? see you see the fucking parks and shit, dude. <laughs> Even the West York. Village, dude. God damn. I love it, dude. I but. would be there if I was in New York right now. Me, Miranda, <laughs> Samantha. Were you talking about right, Washington boys. Square Park? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I've been... I mean, I, I haven't, not, I, I have not left. I mean, I go out front, but I don't leave my block. I go to fucking the laundromat to drop off That's... laundry. Then I go to the grocery store, which is another block away. And then I go to Home Depot, which is three blocks away. And outside of that, I have not left this fucking, like, just this strip the entire fucking time. Yeah. Me neither, dude. I'm in fucking With the Queens, exception oh, God, of the damn. day I lost my keys. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for like a, a like three or four mile walk. And that was the day I lost it. And God sm- smited you for you that, should, dude. Yeah. Should have listened. He's like, stay should have listened to the big retard bitch upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> keeping, keeping the world glued together. Big, big titty retard bitch up in the sky. Keeping the world glued yeah, up. Keeping us all <laughs> slathered in glue with her big retard pussy. What happened? Nothing. So, something froze for a second. I got scared. I lost my audio. All right. Well, oh, I'm going to end the stream good. now. And, uh, bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Uh, bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Uh, bye, everybody. Uh, bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye guys. Bye 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 everybody.
Bye guys. Bye everybody. Bye guys. Bye everybody. Bye guys. Bye everybody. Bye guys. Bye everybody. Bye guys. Bye everybody. Bye guys. Bye everybody. Bye guys. Bye everybody.